And here we have it, a ginormous veg tally. 26 items here. Welcome to Tezpur, India. This city in northeastern India is famous for its rich history and myths. In fact, an epic battle between Lord Shiva and Lord Krishna happened there, and now it's known as the city of blood. But we're not in Tezpur to fight Hindu gods, we're here to eat. Banana leaf chicken, Assamese tali, spicy pani puri, dabeli sandwiches, we're about to have a good time. Wipe your mouth, you're drooling a little. I know I am. All right, you're good. Now come with me and let's go to Tezpur, Assam, India. Assam, this is one of the seven sisters up here. So there's seven states. There's Assam, Meghalaya, Nagaland, Mizoram, Tripura, uh, Ma Manipur, and then uh, uh, Anarachal. Anarachal is in the mountains. So most of them are all mountainous. Most of the states up here have mountains. Assam is super flat and it has a huge river that runs through it. What's the river's name? Brahmaputra. Ba Brahmaputra. Yeah, it's always hard for me to say the name because I can't understand how to say it. But uh, yeah, super flat as you can see. Roads are completely straight. No more mountains at all. It's still very foggy. And we're looking for a place to eat food. We're looking for a daba, like a highway restaurant. That's where all the truck drivers go, but they have so much good food because all the food is from every state in India because these truck drivers come from all over mainland, right? So, um, yeah, let's look for the daba. It's getting really hot. The sweater is about to come off. <laughs> okay, so we didn't find a daba that was open. We found this small, like, <laughs> hut, and we're gonna have some barata? Yeah, baratas. Baratas, okay, let's have some baratas. I'm hungry. Baratas and chai. Barata. I like this. Nice. Uh, yeah, uh, what do they have? I think it's plain paratha with aloo, motor, sabzi, the curry. Do it, do it. Oh man, I'm so hungry. I need that chai and a paratha, but um, yeah, so as you can see, everybody's like shocked that I'm here filming. <laughs> They're like, what is this guy doing? It's like 7 in the morning and I'm starving, guys. <laughs> What's happening here? So is he gonna make the paratha here? Oh, outside. Right behind the hut, you have the cook, right? So he's here making the parata. As you can see, the Indian flatbread looks delicious. He's putting a lot of, um, I guess that's a lot. Is that ghee or is this oil? Ghee? Yeah, I think it's actually oil. And then he's basically, he's heating it up with all the wood, as you can see. There's a big fire underneath him. And we have this little kid here. <laughs> he's so happy. <laughs> oh, wow. This food is incredible. It's good? Yeah, it's really good. And here we have it, the delicious parata. Indian fried bread, look at this. So amazing, this is actually just plain, right? It's plain, and then here we have the sabji. And the sabji is, is chickpeas with potatoes, and it's like very soupy. Mm. Mm, very nice. Break it apart. And you go in here, you get this, right? Wow, looks so good. Mm. Nice bread, a little crispy, full of ghee. I think the owner's son is like, he really wants to see what I'm doing here. It's super good. There's something about Indian flatbread, the way they do it. Nice layers here, your hands get full of ghee. Get the sabji right there. And if you don't want to use the bread, you go here and just eat it like this. Mmm. Very veg breakfast. Mmm. I could just do this all day. I could eat like two or three of these, man. Just make this into like a nice taco. Look at the chickpeas. Little potatoes. They're hard, but at the same time, they're very mushy in the middle. Filling. That's what I need. I need some energy. Everywhere you go in India, you can find this for breakfast. Oh. They gave me an onion because it was too spicy for me. It wasn't spicy at all, so I don't need the onion. Okay, so they're making us some chai. It's hot. It's too hot, right? No, no, too hot. So they brought us a chai, but the chai they brought us is like, look at this, it's freaking boiling. It's like way too hot. Mmm. Oh, but that one has ginger, has milk, mm, very frothy. 
It feels like a cafe con leche, Cuban style. I've said that many times, but it's exactly what it reminds me of. And the total bill here is 90 rupees for three paratas that I paid for them. Three, three sabji, and three uh, chai. So 90 rupees, a dollar 20. Great deal. I think it's a good deal. It's 100. Let's continue this journey. I think we have only like an hour and 45 minutes to go till we get to test for. What are you guys buying? Some pan? Pan, pan masala. Oh, pan masala. You wanna try? Uh, I'm good right now. It's like remote refresh now. Oh yeah? This I'll try one. one. I'll try one. I'll try a little. It's like rocks. I'm throwing rocks. Yes, thank you. How about you guys? All right, I'm done. Let's go. Throw it away. Yeah. Whoa. Now we have only a 90 minute drive till we get to Tezpor. And as you see to my left, there's a lot of farming, a lot of rice fields. They also grow a lot of tea in this area. Assam is known for its tea and its rice. And yeah, I mean, this area, as you can see, very flat, very jungle looking, right? Very jungle looking. So we're stopping to get some coconuts. My friend, can I have one coconut? One? You guys don't want? Coconut? No? Can I have one? Perfect. And they're also selling, wow, this is all made out of bamboo? This is really cool. Baskets, huh? So these baskets. Very nice. This is awesome. I wish I could take some of this stuff home, but I can't. This doesn't fit in my luggage. Wow, really cool baskets. Oh, we got seats too, look at this. Like little stools. Oh, that's awesome, man. Damn. I'd love to buy this. I just can't take this home with me. How do I take this home with me? Carry it in my hands? Can I ship this? For the tire under it, this is awesome. The first one he cut was bad. There was nothing in it. Give me a good one, dude. Give me a good one. Let's see. Oh, that's good. Oh, wow. Super sweet. Mm. Oh, it's so good. You guys sure you don't want? Okay, 30 rupees. Not bad. Okay. Awesome. My God, I can't. I can't. It's like forever. Done. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Alright guys, so this, this guy has so many cool bamboo things here. I mean, there's baskets, there's, uh, there's lanterns, there's so many cool things. But my favorite thing so far is this one, right? It's like a painting, an Assamese painting on top of this like sheet. And it's all bamboo, right? Bamboo. All bamboo. And so he started at 300 and I negotiated down to 250. And the reason why I want it is because I do like this, right? Take it home like this, like this, you wrap it. It's not gonna break on me, right? I take it. Obviously. <laughs> I rolled it. If it's in my bag, good. That's the main reason I'm taking this over the basket is because I can actually pack it. If not, you know, it doesn't fit in my in my luggage. Okay, my friend, 250. Let's continue. That was epic. I mean, the, the I love drinking coconut water because it's so refreshing and I need that right now because I'm super dehydrated. I haven't drank so much water these days. For some reason, I've been like not drinking water. I don't know why. Yeah, but it's super refreshing. And then the baskets. I mean, it's a great place to shop. They have a lot of bamboo stuff. As you saw, baskets, cups, so many things. I got a little painting. I made out of bamboo. Yeah, we can go. We can go. We still have how much time, Alex? Like 90 minutes? 100. No, two hours. Two hours. No, way less. Yeah, I think. Two hours. Okay, two hours. So we're there by 10:30. That's fine, that's perfect. And here on the side of the road is a lot of other stalls. Quick update, we're uh, 30 minutes out from Tezpur and the road is, uh, it's pretty bad here. This, uh, this like main road is just full of potholes. I mean, hundreds and hundreds of potholes. This guy just keeps zigzagging his way around these potholes so we don't like get a flat tire. It's really, really bad. And as you can see, it's a very gloomy day right now. Sun's not out. It looks like it's a huge haze. 
I don't know if that's pollution or what that is, but it's not it's not a nice day at all. Hopefully the day opens up a little more once we get the test pour. It's 9.40 in the morning, so we're gonna be there early. I thought we were gonna be there by 11. We're gonna get there by like 10, 10, 15. Yeah, so we're about to cross this bridge, this river. There's a river here, it's called Brahmaputra River. Yeah, it's one of the biggest river here in Assam. The Brahmaputra River is the widest river in India and the fifth largest in Asia. Because it is a dry season, this river right now is very, very low. Most of what we're crossing is just sand. There's only a few parts where the river is actually there, where you can actually see water flowing. It's just uh, basically just sand, sand dunes everywhere. And they're building a huge bridge here to the left, humongous bridge. Lots of engineering work right there. Wow, that's that's crazy stuff, man. Yeah, it's very long, man. Yeah. It's very, very, that's very intense. Whoever is doing that, like, knows what they're doing, man, because that's crazy. We are entering Tezpur. Well, I still don't see the city. I see a lot of people. <laughs> a lot of people here. A lot of motorcycles. Okay, we're gonna make a left here. A lot of bamboo, huh? Never-ending bamboo rickshaws. You know you've entered an Indian city when there's a lot of traffic. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the honking doesn't stop. Yeah. So much honking. You can see it's like a lot of like short buildings, like mid-rises, four-story buildings. A lot of vegetables on the street right here. Again, uh, for some reason, there's a lot of cement. Is there a cement the factory around here? There's so many cement like uh, trucks and a lot of uh, a lot of the mud um, mud bricks too. Yeah. Because we have. Lots of limestones and all. Okay. In the hills, yeah. And they do all those. All that? Yeah, limestone mining. Yeah. Wow, look at all the sweets. Ladu. Ladu, Faluda. Yeah. <laughs> Rabi. Rabi. <laughs> That's how they carry bamboo to the streets here. And this place gives me a feeling of Guwahati, but a lot smaller. Like, this is very, very small. This is like more like a town, not really a city. But Assam doesn't really have cities. Guwahati is the main, like, central hub. Everything else is smaller, you know, towns and villages. And yeah, I mean, very nice. I think it's, it's good. I'm gonna be exploring for just 12 hours. So I have been able to do lunch and dinner here. And yeah, let's see what this place is about. There's yeah, it. So cool. <laughs> Here we are, KRC Palace. It's actually under construction. It's like bamboo. The whole building's bamboo. Bamboo, yeah. The whole bamboo. building. <laughs> All right, let's check in. It's not so bad, guys. Victoria Knox, best brand in the world. Best luggage brand for sure. Love it. Hey, thank you. Very thank, much. You so much, yeah. thank, yeah. you. thank you so much, Alex. Thank you. Thank you. My friend, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, guys. <laughs> we'll get a hug. We'll get a hug in here. We'll get a hug. All right, all right dude. This is you too, man. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. So the hotel, KRC Palace. I'm actually staying in their new building, which is next door. Hello, hello. Oh, where are we going? Fancy. I think it was only 20 US dollars for one night. Hello, hello, hello. We have 17 rooms. 17? Mm. Okay, perfect. Nice. This is my room. Very nice room, very nice. I like this, this is cool. I'm on the first floor. It's very like modern, sleek, Indian. I like the lamps, look at these lamps. Really cool. Oh, huge bathroom. Oh, it's really, really big. Look at that. So I don't really need a separator because I have so much space. I can be over here and the toilet's still really far. I have a heater, faucet, well guys, I hope you enjoyed the journey. We had an incredible ride, five hour drive from Shilong, Malagaya, all the way to Tespur in Assam. I mean, it was really nice. I slept for the first hour that I you know, woke up outside of Malagaya in Assam. When I got there, we looked for some place to eat. We found you know, some baratas, some sabji, some chai. Then we stopped and I bought some stuff. I bought this and I had a coconut. Oh, I can't wait to give this to my wife. My wife's gonna love this. And then, yeah, then we made it here to Tesport. And Tesport looks cool, very small place. I only have one day, so I'm gonna freshen up now. I'm gonna go out, I'm gonna explore the city. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you on the next travel food adventure in incredible India. Peace.
What's up everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here. I just arrived in Tezpur, Assam, India in Northeast India and I'm here with my friend Camo from Tezpur Buzz and today we're going to go explore Tezpur and have some delicious authentic Assamese food. It's like an Assamese tally, lots of I guess fish, chicken, ah, yes, a mix right? Definitely. And what, what are we going to do right now? What are we going to see? We're just first, first of all we're just heading to Radhasyam Hotel for some delicious chai. Right. Delicious chai? So famous chai yes, right? Famous chai in Tezpur. Awesome. Let's go. All yours, wherever you are comfortable. This or this. One. I think this is gonna be easier. Or this one. The only thing I hate about jumping on this is that I don't have a helmet. But <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. Don't worry. Let's explore. Test four by bike. Woo! Let's go. The cows are everywhere. Yeah, this is not Megala anymore. Megala, yes. yet, there's no cow. No. Yes. <laughs> But in Te in Tejpur and Assam and India, in fact, you find cows everywhere. everywhere. I know, I know, because it's the Hindi culture. I know, I know. Cows are gods, guys. Cows are gods. This is the main town of Tejpur. It's called the Chok Bazaar. Chok, Chok Bazaar. Bazaar. Yes. Okay. So what do we have here? Just like markets and uh, stuff. Yes, markets and stuff. And the the shop that I was telling you about, Radhesham. It's in the market itself. Okay, we made it here. This is Radhesham. This is the Radhesham. Right there. Yes. This it is a hotel. Right here, guys. This is called the Rasoi Ghar. We are in Radheshyam right now, and all the sweets are made here. So it's quite wonderful and warm here. I mean, it smells amazing. And this guy, he's just making these sweets. What is that? Oh wow! Oh, the piaj kachori. Piaj kachori. Piaj kachori. K. Yeah. We have to try it. <laughs> yes, obviously. Why not? Why not? The famous and special chai that I was speaking about is being made here in this wonderful kitchen. Here we have the piaj kachori, which is basically Woo. onion kachori. It's a huge fritter. It's like freaking hot. I mean, he just came off the fryer as you saw. The guy, he basically, what he does is he gets the dough, then he puts the onion mash into the dough, then he fries it, and then he lets it sit for a while so it, all the grease like comes out, right? And here we go. Mm, not too hot. Mm, I like it. So many thick layers. Dough is soft inside, crispy on the outside. The grease has all come out, not greasy at all. The masala in here, mmm, nice and flaky, airy. Mm. The Indian onion fritter. It's great. I can eat more. And here we have their famous chai. Not too hot. They let it sit for a bit. Thank God. Mmm, very nice. Is it ginger in here? There's ginger, there's cardamom, nice and frothy, very milky. This one actually feels a lot like a little darker version of chai. And this is just a snack. Mm. Mm. You know, the chai is not like coffee. It has almost no caffeine, so you can go on and on and on, and just drink it non-stop, and it's not to keep you awake at night. I like that because you know, it's 6 p.m., 7 p.m., I'll have a chai, but I won't have coffee. This coffee will kill me. Like, I won't sleep that night. Now let's jump on the rabri. I've actually had rabri many times, but with a jalebi. So as you can see, it's like a simmered milk that turns into a very thick sauce. I've had it with jalebi in Delhi, but like this, I've never had it just straight like this. It's straight up condensed milk. Condensed milk. Mmm. So rich, and you have big chunks of the milk here. Big chunks. Oh wow. Dude, it's delicious. It's like I'm eating a dessert. Mmm. Condensed milk soup. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Fantastic. Love the chai, love the rabri, love the kachori, love it all. How much did it cost, by the way? I think it was a uh, net amount of around 50 rupees. 50 rupees for the total. That's a good deal. Chitralekha Udyan, the coal park. 
the park. Park. It's a park and it's very famous and mythological. Woo! This is Chitra Lekha Udyan, popularly known as the Coal Park in Tejpur. Very nice. Chitra Kala. This Chitra is it. Chitra Lekha Udyan. Chitra Lekha Udyan. <laughs> now this place is very historical. Historical in the sense it's related to our ancient mythology. It's uh, explaining this would be insane here, but uh, it's based on the famous Hari Har War stones. Wow! So the ancient from, stones uh, these here. These are the ancient stones. So these these are we don't know who has made it. Well, and where did this come from? Just in the area? Uh, this was actually Tejpur was the location of the Ban Asura. He was the king of Tejpur, ancient. Ban Asura was the king of Sonitpur. It's uh, something around, I don't know the era, but uh, wow. it's a mythological fact. Yeah, no, but this is amazing. Look at this. Yes. These artifacts are old. It's super Very old. Nature. Wow, just they carved that out of stone. Yes. They carved it. Crazy, that's amazing. <laughs> and by the way, Tezpur was voted, what, the cleanest city? Least polluted city. Least polluted city in oh, India. Honey. Yes. Least polluted. Least polluted. It's amazing. You can feel it. You can feel it. This is like the lungs of the city right here. This park. Wow, look at these huge trees. The banyan trees, right? Yes. Huge banyan trees. Look at that. More like mythological stones. So many of them. So many. Has this been here like this the whole time? Yes. Right here? Yes. Inside this? A bit of uh, modification has been done. Okay. This is a huge structure. See, there is some cement plating over there. Yeah, yeah. No, but, so, but this has been sitting uh, this, here? This has been sitting here. For? For ages. Ages? Ages. Wow. That is so cool. Can I get up here? Am I allowed to? <laughs> wow, so nice. It looks like a, well, it's a big pillar, but it looks almost like a tomb in this angle. So this place was Chitralekha's house, mythologically. The structure that has been standing still uh, just after entering the gate. It's believed that this place was a house of Chitralekha. So all these stones, do they come from here? All of these stones? Oh, yes. yes. Stones yes. It's basically like a, a ruined house. Yeah. Ruined That's what it is. Yes. From thousands of years. Thousands, thousands of years. years. Amazing. This? Dude, yeah. this is the coolest park I've ever been to, man. Oh, okay. It's an archaeological site at the same time. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. I'm all about history. All about history. history. Yeah. I love history. Uh, oh. like. uh, this place is said to be the historical place of Assam. So we've explored the park. Uh, we didn't explore the whole thing. Obviously, it's a big park, but we just don't have enough time to go all over. Now we're gonna go over to where? Agnigar Park. Agnigar Park. Agnigar. And what is that? Uh, it's around 500 meters away from here. It's a park. Another park? It's a park, and it's you know very beautiful. Perfect. Let's go. So this gate uh, is the route through Ganesh Ghat. Ganesh Ghat is a very wonderful view of uh, the river Brahmaputra, mighty Brahmaputra, and in this gate you see. All the uh, Hindu gods being placed over in the sculptures. This is the mighty Hanuman. It's the monkey god. Perfect, but this is not our next stop. Our next stop is up in a park. Up in a hill park. In a hill park. Okay, let's go, let's go. Alright, let's go. Let's go. Let's Chalo. Go. It's called to in the top Hindi. Of the hill. Chalo. 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 Let's go. <laughs> Woo! <-hoo. laughs> Here we go, going through the gate. Nice. This is the Ganesh Ghat, which Ganesh. is obviously named after Ganesha. Ganesha, Lord Ganesha. Wow, and what do we see here? Uh, you see the mighty Kolya Bhamra Bridge there. Uh, so it's one of the biggest in Assam bridges. Oh yeah, and they're building another one next to it, no? Ah yes, next to it. The river starts in Arunachal Pradesh, which is the state that borders with China. It's like a super mountainous region. And then the, the river flows all through Assam and then empties out in Bangladesh and West Bengal. Yes. Wow, what a great view. I'm ready, I'm ready. I like the guy. It was very clean, very peaceful out there. Now we're going up the hill? Yes, up the hill. Wow, wow. temperature is very nice today too. Yes. It's, Anigar. Uh, you know, Agni okay. means fire. Yeah, so Ag fire park. Ag means you know, society or location or sometime like residential area. Fire, fire park. <laughs> fire park, yes, you can tell that. <laughs> Very nice, I like it. Nice gates. The soldiers of the kingdom of Banasura. Banasura is a king of Sonitpur. Was the king of Sonitpur? It's a, a mythological fact. So here in this park, it's a big hill and we have a staircase that basically goes in a spiral fashion around it. No, I, I like how Tezpur, the air quality is amazing here. Yes. It's like, yes. dude, I'm breathing like super fresh air. 
And that is why it is called the cultural capital of Assam. Cultural capital of Assam. So this scenic beauty is. It's somewhat of a hike. It's not so bad, but there's a lot of steps here. No, that's it. That's it. No, it's not bad. No, dude, the other day, double decker bridge. Double decker bridge. Crazy, crazy. <laughs> Too much. Wow. We made it here to the top of the hill. <sighs> a lot of breath, and I'm good. And we're gonna go to the top of this platform, and that's the highest point, right? Highest point, and you see the entire taste food from that place. Nice. Oh, open air platform, open air stairs. Very cool. Ooh, you're looking over the river right here. And test pours back there. Taste food's back. Hey guys. Hey. Hi. How are you doing? <laughs> And we made it here. Wow. So this place is the highest peak of Tejpur. So on one side Tejpur is bound, is surrounded by the mighty Brahmaputra. On the other side we see the town and beyond that are the great Himalayas. Here we have the mighty Brahmaputra river as you can see. It is super wide, very long. I mean it covers the entire state. Lots of boats right here. These are fishermen, right? Yes. And over there we have the infamous bridge, or the famous bridge, sorry. Uh, the not Bhamara bridge. In India, uh, there's the whole Tejpur, you can see the view, Tejpur. And uh, one more thing, in India there are only two mental hospitals. One is located in the state of Bihar, and the one that you see over there is located in Tejpur. And as you can see, Tejpur has a lot of trees. I mean, what is that? Is that just haze, like a fog, or a big fog? It's not pollution. It's not pollution, it's not like fog. fog. It's a fog, it's a fog, yeah, it's very nice. I mean, I love it, the trees are beautiful. It feels like we're in the middle of a jungle. I love it. So as the name suggests Tejpur, Tejpur means, the, Tej in Assamese means blood and Pur means a society or the place that people live in. So in the great war, in the ancient war between Lord Shiva and Lord Krishna, the entire Tejpur was full of blood, it was just shredded with blood. So it's the name Tejpur comes into being. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, thanks. Thank you. Thank okay. you, sir. No, no Selfies all day, selfies all day. Uh, so he is uh, Aniruddha, the grandson of Lord Krishna. And uh, she is uh, Usha, his love. Fun fact, the reason why Tezpur is called the city of romance is because this love story was based here. Yes. Amazing. Definitely. All right, guys, let's go eat some food. Asamis Thali? Asamis Thali. Asamis Thali? Yes. yes. Fish, fish. Fish, fish, chicken, mutton, and everything. Oh, everything. Everything. Upper, Chalo. upper Assam. Upper Assam. Upper Assam. Is, is this cool. Upper Assam? No, this is Middle Assam. This is Middle Assam. Okay, middle yeah. Assam. So Upper starts a little farther up. Ah, yes. Jorhat, Jorhat. I'm, I'm From Jorhat. All right, let's go. We're going to the restaurant called Korika, which means ethnic food, and there we're gonna have an Assamese tali. Assamese and how is the Assamese tali? Filled up with fish, chicken, mutton, and everything, and more some kind of ethnic dishes from Assam. Okay, yeah. it's it's not like the tali I've had like in Mumbai where it's a huge plate. It's like uh, they're all like small, like like it is like a tali, ah, yeah. but just on the table, right? Yes. It's a little different. Yes. Oh, it's good. I can't wait. I'm so hungry, and I love Assamese food. It's so delicious. It's very different from the rest of India. And the fish aspect. Oh, and the mutton, man. The mutton. Give me mutton, man. Upper oh, Assamese. Oh, oh. Upper Assamese. Hey. Here we are. We have a non-veg tali, and we have a veg tali. Excited, dude, excited. I love tallies. So good, so good. Okay guys, so this is our Assamese tally. Look how many things we got. We have like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20. 20. 20. <laughs> okay, so how do we start our tally? So uh, first of all, you start with the dal. So take some dal. Okay, so some dal. Mix, mix it in here. Mix it properly. Okay. Just take it, that portion out, and just taste it. Okay. Mmm. Oh no, no, you're not supposed to take that. You don't take chili. I like the chili stuff. <laughs> it's a fried chili. Okay. Mmm. Brinja, brinja is brinja, egg brinja. plant. Egg plant. Ah, yes. Egg plant. Mmm. Oh, I love it. Nice. Super nice. A little spicy, a little hot. Oh, that is amazing. Oh, I just, I'm a big fan of eggplant. Okay. All day eggplant. Okay. Rajuma. Rajuma. So Rajuma is like, like a doll? It's a vegetable. It's a vegetable? But it has like chickpeas or am I wrong? Uh, no? No, it's not chickpeas actually. 
and then you can also mix it with your rice. Mm -hmm. Take it around. Mm, very nice. It's like a it's like a light curry. Yes. It's like a very light, light curry. curry. So uh, this is the hag. Hag is a. I actually like it a lot. Curry. Yeah, I know. I've eaten it before. Very green and healthy. Mm. You know what's this? Like spinach. Spinach. Oh wow! Nice. Alu tofu. Alu tofu. Alu tofu. Okay. Made of potatoes and some other vegetables. Mix some mixed vegetables. You can call it. Mix it. Mm. So another light curry. We have some uh, so it's potatoes, carrots, mm -hmm. onions. And uh, one more thing, David. This is the alu pitika. Yeah, I've had it's alu pitika. Boiled, boiled alu. Yeah, it's boiled, boiled. So it's basically mashed potatoes. And now mm. starting with the mains. I like that a lot. Mmm, a little hot too. A little chili. Your chili is in here. Little bit. Oh yeah. Oh, so hot. <laughs> <laughs> This is the mutton. This is the mutton. Wonderful. Wonderful. Right there. Great. Oh, I love mutton. So mutton here is goat, right? Yes. Is there bones in this one? Uh, what's the? How is it? Sorry, I'm in awe. It's so delicious. <laughs> the mutton is so tender. It really is like butter. It's like my teeth are a knife. <laughs> <laughs> I love this curry, man. Oh my god. Nice spices, not too spicy. Mmm. What's in the curry, do you know? Any idea? Part of it, maybe. Uh, uh -huh. There is, and there are some other masalas as well. Other masalas, yeah, yeah. Always masalas. Right? Masalas. masalas. It's not too spicy. This is perfect. Chicken? This is duck. This is duck. All right, this is the duck. Oh my god, this stuff looks good. Oh, this one has bone. That's a bone. bone. Yes. That's a bone, for sure. So let's go with the duck. Mmm. Very different. It's yummy. A lot of fat. There's a bone. Mmm. Big bone. Big bone. I'll put it aside. I'm gonna get some of the potato. Mmm. Oh, the duck is very juicy. Very tender. Mmm. I haven't had duck in the uh, Assam yet. This is your first thing? Mm -hmm. That one, straight bone. That's why I stick to the mutton. Okay. No bones. No bones. <laughs> Less bones. Yeah, there's a chicken right here? Chicken. Chicken. Okay. So the chicken has a little bit of bones as well. Bones. But it looks really good. It's not boneless actually. I like, I like that all these curries are very dark. You know, very dark and that's, that's basically, you know, for this one I just gotta grab it, right? You have to use your hand. Mm. Oh wow. Yummy? The masala is so different. That was so good. And I like always going for the bone, you know? <laughs> like ripping everything off the bone. So that is the fish. The fish. Moralimas. In Assamese, it's, fish is called mass. Okay. And this is the Bhorali mass. I don't know what it, it is called in English. I'm gonna grab some of this stuff. Yes. Put it here. Yes. So I'm just gonna bring off a piece of the fish here. Okay. Okay, like that. Very nice. I'm sure there's bones. It's river fish. Always bones. Always be careful with the fish, right? Yes. Small bones. Fish bones. Mm. No bones okay. there. No bones. bones? Mm. Nice. How's the taste? Very light curry. Mm, like the masala. You no just chili. find a small sour type taste there? Yeah, a little, a little, a little salty. Uh, salty. I mean, because, it shouldn't uh, really be that. So, you know, in uh, Assam, it's dry fish, it's like, right? this is called mas tenga. That was very nice. The fish is very good. Luckily, I got no bones. But be careful. I'm always careful. <laughs> I'm really, really careful. <laughs> I get nervous. Mm. And what do we do with the pepper? Just... Ooh, is that oily? It's a little bit of It's very tasty. Mm. Mm, it's Just like that? Dal, rice, and then pepper. I'll do like that. <laughs> so here we have the pork. As you can see, nice fat piece right there. I'm gonna get this piece. And it comes with some vegetables, right? Nice vegetables. Tender, it's juicy. Made up of some vegetable that like have. I mean, I just had straight fat right there. 
The only fat. It was good. Mm, and so just both. mix up with the rice a little bit. Maybe two. Mm. No, vegetables are amazing. Very, very amazing. Mm. And over here we have some more vegetables. And these are like yes. stir-fry vegetables, basically. Mm. Wow, well, super you healthy. You also taste this haji. This haji? It's, um, it's like pumpkin. So okay. here we go. Mm. It's like sweet potato, fried sweet potato. Mm. Pumpkin fried. Fried pumpkin. Oh, it's pumpkin, pumpkin, sorry. Pumpkin. That's sweet potato thing, it is very sweet. <laughs> That's so good. This is the kid, okay. the pies. The kid? All this, uh, you know, you, you take this after your lunch. Can I try it right now? Is this? Okay. Rice pudding. Rice pudding. Milk rice. Milk rice. Milk rice. Milk rice. And what's the next one? This is the omita khar. Omita khar. Khar is an Assamese traditional food. Khar. Yeah, khar. I had it in, in Guwahati. Yes. It's made up of papaya. Mm. Omita. Yeah, it's, it's not really sweet. Not too sweet. Not so sweet. This is really sweet. sweet. This is more like a little bit, you know? It's good though. Ah. Next one? So this is a chutney. This chutney? Made of, I think, pudina. This pudina? Mm. It feels like a lentil mash. Okay, like, like my doll mash? Mm, yes. Like mashed doll? Yes. Mm. It's nice, it's like, I think this is my favorite doll. <laughs> so, it's, it's like you love sweets? I don't love sweets. Okay. I'd rather have this stuff. This is really good okay. stuff. I didn't try this one. What was this one? Okay. Now this is a kind of dal. Another doll? Another doll. So, it's a green doll. So, gonna get some of the rice. Right there. All right? Ice? It's lighter. No Ice. spice. No spice. You know, here in, in Assam, it's not really spice culture. It's not like too spicy. They usually do have like a pepper here and there. Pepper, uh -huh. yes. But it's not like, it mega, it mega light. There was no pepper. There was, just, uh, there was no spice. They okay. just have a chili. Like a straight chili. But I had naga food. Naga food killed me. Killed me. <laughs> killed me. <laughs> killed me. <laughs> oh. I mean, I love it. I love every single thing here. Favorite thing was that for sure. Yes. And wow. Well, guys, we had such an incredible day. We started off with some delicious chai and a kachori. Then we went. We saw a park. We saw the ghats. Then we went to another park and saw an incredible view overlooking the river and the city of Tezpur. And then we came here and had this delicious Assamese tali. I mean, wow! What an incredible meal. We're gonna we're gonna finish this up. Don't don't you guys worry. Without the camera. <laughs> but guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. Also, follow them on Instagram. Taste for Buzz. Test for Buzz. Test for Buzz. And, uh, awesome. and we'll see you on the next travel food adventure in Tezpur, Assam, India. Peace. What's up, everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in Tezpur, Assam, India, Northeast India. And today I'm doing something very different. I'm gonna do a challenge, a Pani Puri challenge. I'm gonna spend 100 rupees, and that basically gets me 70 Pani Puri. And if you guys don't know what Pani Puri is, Pani is water, which they basically mix with like tamarind chutney, mint chutney, they put spices in it. And then Puri is like a flower puff ball, which they have right here. And what happens is, you know, you, you come here, you say, you know, you want, you know, a little bit, you want 10 rupees, at seven. So as soon as you give him the money, or as soon as you start, he'll, he'll grab the, the puri, he pops a hole in it, he fills it up with potato masala, so aloo masala, and then he dips it into the pani, and then he gives it to you. So, and you keep going until you're done. So you can basically go on forever. I've seen people like, have like a hundred in a row, straight up. People like, love it. I've done like 12 in a row. I've, I've never done 70. <laughs> 70. Yes. Hi, David. Pleasure. Nice to meet you. My name is Mikhail. Mikhail. Pleasure. I follow your channel. Awesome. Thank you. I'm looking forward to your Mikhail video. Okay. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Thank you. No problem. No problem. I'm doing a, a, a Pani Puri challenge yeah, now. I was uh, about to have Pani Puri. Yeah, you're going to have Pani Puri? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. And it keeps coming. Spicy? No. No? He's just giving me too fast. The way it works is like, as soon as you start ordering, he's gonna keep giving you until you're done and he won't give the next person. 
That's sort of how it works unless you say, hey, stop. And then he'll stop, right? I'm ready, my man. So he gives you a little tray, right? And then he starts. He popped it a hole in it. Put some potato mash, and here we go. Number one. Number one of 70. I can't even grab it, dude. Mmm. Very good. Nice and crunchy. Dude, he's filling up a lot of bunny. Okay, three in. Oh, bunny there. Mmm. Bunny is nice liquid. Mmm, this one has a little bit of spice. A little bit. Now it's so much pine, it exploded. What am I on? Number six? Where does it keep count? Are we keeping count or is he keeping count? He's keeping the count. <coughs> oh wow. There's too much pine there. Mmm. Oh man, I keep going. Sometimes they give me way too much water, like pani. Sometimes less. I like it with less. Sometimes when he's drenching, or a little too much. You? Oh. Look at all the booties. Wow. Wow, guys. How did you get to the store? How did you get to the store? 10 pieces. 10 pieces. Have you eaten only 10? Only 10. 11. 11. Wow. For 100 rupees, you get a lot. I might do like 50 rupees, maybe. How much water is it? How much water is it? Damn, dude. I'm hitting a wall. Too much pani. Man, it's so good. Ooh, that one's spicy. What is this thing? What's up guys? Mm. It's not really too sweet. It has a kick though. Like he put some chilies in there, right? Ah, my tongue is burning. How many do we have? Probably 16 or something. I'm joking, but I'm good, I'm good. I'm good. Oh man. Mm. You guys have a lot of body puri stalls here. Yes. I think there's like 16 right here. Yes. Mm. Dude, my tongue is starting to burn. My tongue is burning. Oh wow. I've never done this before. Oh. The body went on the wrong pipe. Okay. Ask him how many we got now. Get a hold. Get a hold, brother. Get a hold. 24 pieces. 24 pieces. Damn. I have to do three more, like three times this? <laughs> I might finish at 30, man. I don't know. All right. do, I, do I get a break right now? Yes. Put it over. Because the uh, aloe is over, now we just mash it with all the masalas. Perfect. Can we throw this away? Yes, mm. yes. I'm hitting a wall, guys. Mm. Wow. 
Am I really doing this? Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. oh, yeah. I think this is the last one. Last one. Tell me last one. I can't anymore. I don't need to go on. Th 30 is enough. 30 is enough. One more, David. One more. Right. No. One right. Oh my god. Another one? Right, right, right. 31. And this is dry. This is no, no, no pani. pani. Just booty. I'm doing a dry one. This is my number 31. Mm. That was really good. Spicy. Mmm. Not the herbs. Onions. My friend. No more. Cut me. Cut me. No more. <laughs> oh my god. I did only 31 and I paid for 70. But I didn't pay. I mean, he basically said like when you finish I'm gonna see the bill. So I'm spending like 45 rupees, which is basically like 50 cents, and I had 31, man. 31, wow. It's really filling it. I mean, it's delicious. Pani booty is so good. I love like how the, the booty explodes in my mouth with the pani, and then the chili in there. It's, my, my lips are tingling right now because he put a lot of chili. As you saw, he just, he just keeps cutting up chili and cutting up onions and mixing them in there in the mash. And then as you can see, I mean, people come here all day long and eat pani puri. This is something huge in India. When you come to India, you have to try pani puri. It's all over, it has different names. I think, uh, what is it, Puchka? Uh, Puchka. Puchka in, in Bengali. It is another name, I think, Golgaba or something in Mumbai. So each place is different uh, in terms of names. That's usually the language, you know, changes the name. But it's always the same. It's a puri, which is like a, a puff ball, a, a flower puff ball. He pops a hole into it, he puts it in the mash, then he puts it into pani, so the water. Sometimes they fill it up all the way. I've actually had floating pani puri in Bangalore before, which is crazy because they just basically just drench the puris full of, of so much pani, so much water that it floats. Really amazing. But yeah, I mean, great challenge, but I couldn't complete it, unfortunately. I really was trying, but I hit a wall, guys. Like, I, I really hit a wall. Uh, it hurts a lot, actually, but yeah, man, really good. And as you can see, sometimes I see people here and they literally don't stop eating, don't stop eating. And yeah, so this is something you have to do when you come to India, especially when you're going to test pour. Definitely experience this. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Follow Tejpur Buzz. And we'll see you on the next trial food adventure in Assam, India. Peace. What's up everyone, this is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Tespor, Assam, India, Northeast India. I'm here with my friend Camel from Tespor Buzz. And today we're doing a mix. We're gonna go visit a temple and then we're gonna have dinner on the street. Street food, Indian street food. And Slash, he was saying there's some, also some Arab food. And I'm super excited. So what is this temple? This temple is named as Mahabharab Temple. Okay. So, uh, the Asia's largest Shiva Linga is located in this temple. It was created by Ban Asura. This is the Ancient king of Sonic. Wow, and and then for dinner, where are we going? What's the street? We're food? just exploring the whole take whole of Tejpur, uh, the street specially, and we have a lot of delicacies for you. That's total surprise. So all the food is all over Tezpur. It's not like one section. No, right? it's all over. All over. Yeah, and, and Tezpur isn't a huge city. I mean, it's more like a town. It's it's very like you know everything's close by. This was like a five minute drive from my hotel. Everything's like a five minute drive. It's not it's not crazy. Uh, no traffic. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, let's go explore. Follow us. So yeah, so this temple, as you can see, I mean, just very empty space here. It's empty today because it's Sunday. Okay. So it's uh, the Lord Shiva's Mandir. So we, tomorrow by tomorrow, Monday, is the Shiva's day and it's going to be jam-packed. Perfect. Yeah, so there's like a little house here. I guess this is like a prayer uh, hall. Uh, yes. Yeah. And, and then over here is Lord Shiva's Linga. Lord Shiva's Linga. So Lord Shiva, if you guys don't know, he is like the God of Gods in the Hindu religion. There's three main gods, but he is like the god. Yeah, before you enter any Hindu temple, you gotta take off your shoes. So this cow god, this cow god is known as the Nandi. He is the messenger of Lord Shiva. And it's, he always stands in front of Lord Shiva so that no one disturbs him while he goes into some kind of yogic exercises. So inside is the, the Linga, let's go inside. 
the Shivlinga is protected by Hanumanji and Ganeshji's murti, famous Hindu gods. So if you guys don't know about Ganesha, Ganesha is Lord Shiva's son and the reason he has an elephant head is because this is what happened. Basically, the Lord Shiva's wife said to the son, can you protect me at all costs? And then Shiva came in and cut off his head. Yes. And then what happened is, you know, he had to go get him a new head. So he went out to the forest and the first animal we saw, he took the head, which was an elephant. And that is how Ganesha is basically born, the face, yes. the elephant face. Exactly. Before entering any temple, we just need to bring this sound awakens uh, the Lord inside. So he's saying I can also do like this. Ooh. So you're alerting the Lord that you're entering yes. and this is Shiva's Linga. So this is uh, the Asia's largest Shiva Lingas. Uh, and it was uh, constructed, the entire temple was constructed by Ban Asura. He was the ancient king of Sonicpur, this district. And here you enter this temple and you offer donations and you seek for blessings and you, the, you get blessed all over. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to do what this guy did. It's all good. Wow, that was that was pretty amazing actually. I've never seen Shinga's, Shiva's Linga like that. I mean, it's giant. It's easy like, I don't know, like four feet high, two feet in width, huge. As you can see, beautiful temple. I like the colors, the red, the gold, the cobra on top, the cobras are black. Really nice, very breezy here, lots of trees. Wow, hey, how you doing? And I've never seen the cow before. That's so awkward that I've never seen it. I've been to so many Hindu temples and never seen the cow. Okay, but First uh, generally in Hindu, it's a belief that we always have to take permission from the Nandi, the messenger of Lord Shiva, before Entering. approaching, before approaching the Lord. Wow. Okay. Cool. So this is the sun god, and people uh, the thread, the holy thread that has been tied in the banyan tree, is uh, for the well-being of their relationships. It's popularly believed that praising the sun god makes your relationship healthier. Let's go! Food! Food, food, food! Ready, yeah. dude, ready! Let's go! Yeah! God, I cannot wait to eat the food here. The food at Sam is so delicious. It's so different. It's so different. Lots of fish, lots of chicken, you got mutton, they have duck, they have pigeon. I mean, they, you name it, they got it. <laughs> Our first stop tonight is here at a da belly. Da belly is basically like a sandwich, like a jelly sandwich, jelly right? Sandwich. So here's the da belly. I've actually had da belly once before and I had it in a metabad. I remember it was super delicious and it had peanuts in it. This one is a little different. Oh man, this is good. Peanuts. Mmm. Peanut butter jelly sandwich. Well, see, so you put some like crisp, some save on top, right? No save. Oh man, with onions. Mmm. Especially a peanut butter jelly sandwich, Indian style, right? Mmm. Wow, so good, so refreshing. I love the bread. It's like a little, almost like a um, like an English muffin sort of thing here. Oh, look at that! Everything inside. It's like it's like a very nice jelly. Big chunks of peanuts. Oh yeah. It's almost like a chat in a sandwich. Dude, I can't eat anymore because I'm not even way to eat any more food. Oh maybe one more bite. The belly is 40 rupees. I'm done. Jumping back on here. Let's roll baby. Uh Arunima's takeaway. Arunima's takeaway, what yes, is that? We're have some well, awesome Lebanese chicken. Lebanese? Lebanese. Oh, Lebanese chicken. I've never had that in India. I love Lebanese food. Lebanese food's amazing. We just got here to Arunimas Takeaway and when we got here, the owner was like, you shouldn't have the, the Lebanese chicken because it's basically like shawarma. Instead, we're gonna have bamboo chicken. So basically, the chicken has been cooked in the bamboo. I actually had this one time before in Hyderabad. I went to an exotic restaurant there, exotic food restaurant, and they had this. And this is the best dish 
in the restaurant because it's so freaking good. And here we go, the famous bamboo chicken. Guys, oh, this is so good, watch. Oh my God. The taste of bamboo in the chicken. Mmm. Oh wow, it's like a little smoky bamboo taste. Mmm, some chilies in here. Mmm. It's hot, hot. There's onions. Mmm. A lot of chilies. One like really hot pepper. Mmm. I love it because it's basically like, like minced chicken in a way, right? Put this to the side. It's so good. Oh, guys, man, chilies. Amazing. Next up, we have the banana leaf chicken. Banana leaf chicken. It looks like a chicken cutlet. Look at that. Whoa, and it's full of chilies. Full of chilies. How do I break this, guys? Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Mmm, it's tasty. Mmm. It's like a, a chicken pancake with chilies. Right? Like the way they made it, the shape, it's like a nice fritter. It's not, is this fried? No, it's not fried. Oh. Not so spicy. He was telling me it's super spicy. And this is from Assam. This, you can find it in other places in India, but this is from Assam. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. Being cooked in a banana leaf, it changes everything. It's so diverse how these two different chicken dishes pull the flavors out of the banana and the, oh my God, the bamboo. <coughs> Getting a lot of spice. I didn't think there was so much spice in Assam, but now there's like a lot more spice. You guys are starting to, to, to give me some spicy stuff, man. Mm. They're both delicious. I think I'm done. Can we need to go to the next place? Dude, so how much how much did it cost for the bamboo and for the banana? The bamboo chicken cost rupees 140 per plate and the banana chicken was rupees 60. 60? 60. Okay, so 200. So I spent a little over, I mean it's like Nah, it's like two dollars and eighty cents for for those two amazing dishes. Okay. Really good. Yes. I would eat the entire thing if I wasn't so full already. But yeah, let's continue on this tour. What is next? Next is something very very familiar to Tejpur. It's like the chicken pakoda. Right here. Right here. Oh my God. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Wait, why did we drive? We drove from there to there. You're from which country? America, USA. This is the chicken masala, uh, the masala fried chicken as you uh, know it popularly. So the chicken is just mixed it up in masalas uh, and it's just fried in really hot oil and it's just served as immediately as possible to the customers. And how much does it cost? 10 rupees per piece. I mean, I've had it before and I love it. The only problem is when you bite into it, it explodes because of all the juices flowing and it's still super hot because they give it to you, like it doesn't wait. Like you eat it right after they takes it out. Like it's that fresh. Wow, that's good. Are we gonna eat? Let's do it. Yes. And here we have the chicken pakora. Chick ma chicken masala fried chicken. Oh, it's so hot. It has this amazing sauce. Mmm. Mmm, the masala, so rich, mmm, nice fry, ooh, and the batter, ooh, but it's smoking hot. Mmm, I like the sauce they have here, what is this? So amazing, it's just so hot though. Let's see, let's see. Mmm, it's almost like a, like chicken lollipop, but obviously this is not the drumstick. This is like, this is the breast of the chicken. Look at that. Ooh, it's so rich. It's still super hot though. And there is a bone, so I can't eat it straight. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh, it's so good. Mmm, nice and crunchy. Put in the sauce. Oh man. It's so good. It's better than chicken lollipop. That sauce is amazing. Whatever that sauce is. Ooh. It's hot. It's really hot. But that's just, that's just how it works here in India. Everything they serve you is always super hot because they give it to you as fresh as they can, but you should let it sit for a bit. For a bit. We like don't have time to let it sit for like 10 minutes, but that's really what it's gonna take to cool it down, right? 
Oh, but it's so good. It's I love spicy watching. and it's really, really super hot. I mean, it's not too spicy. It has a spice. It has like something there, right? But I love watching how he does it because he, he pulls out like all the chicken from the masala. It's, it's basically bathed in masala. He throws it in there. He fries it for like literally two minutes. Then he takes it out and then let it sit here. Indian street food tour on a scooter. On a scooter. Amazing. Oh, what's happening to those dogs? They're fighting. <laughs> oh my God. Our last stop is this Durga Mistana Bandar. And here we're gonna have some jalebis. So jalebi is basically Jalebi oh, is made of sweet. It's a sweet dish. Jalebi is basically dough what, that has been spiraled, right? Yes. In like super hot oil. Then after that, they take it out and they put it in sweet syrup. Sweet syrup. Sweet syrup. And there we have it right there. And first time I landed in Delhi a year ago. First time I landed in India. First thing I ate was this. Well, not the first thing I ate. The first day I ate this. And it was amazing. Blew me away. I couldn't believe it. Every single state, they eat this. Ready? Cheers, my friend. Cheers. Mm. Love it. The sweet syrup. Mm. It's super intense. Super sweet. Mmm. Mmm. Finger looking good. Finger looking mm. good. Crunchy sweet. An incredible way to end the meal, right? Quick recap, we visited an incredible Hindu temple and we saw Shiva's Linga, the biggest one in Asia. Wow, I didn't I had no idea that it was here. Yeah, I guess I didn't look that up on Google. <laughs> and then uh, and then after that we came over here and made it here at night, you know, it just became super dark and we went on an epic street food tour. We had some rabbi, we had some butter chicken, we had some, I mean, it's just a lot of chicken, right? A lot of chicken. And this is not really Assamese food. The only thing that's Assamese was the banana chicken. Everything, everything else is basically all around Northern India, right? More Northern India. Yeah, and we finished it with jalebi. It's the way to finish every single meal here in India. Either that or ladu or this one, ra ragula. <laughs> Rasagula. Rasagula, yeah. I mean, it's, it's, always, it's always available everywhere, these like sweets, and you have to try them when you come over here. I hope you love this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below. Subscribe to my channel. Follow my boy, Tezpor Buzz. And we'll see you in the next travel food adventure in India. Peace. Hey, good morning, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is David Hoffman from David's Bin here in Tezpur, Assam, India, Northeast India. It's six in the morning, and I'm here with my friend Honey. Honey is part of the Wild Grass Resort in Kazaranga National Park. And this national park is famous for the one horned rhino, and it's also a tiger sanctuary. But today, what we're doing is we're making our way over there, and we're gonna stop at like a bus station. What's the bus station's name? It's uh, Jokala Bondha. Jokala Bondha. Jokala Bondha, yes. And, and this bus station is famous for its breakfast. It's it's basically open 24-7 because everybody stops there yeah. coming from all the states of Northeast India. And then he was telling me that they have like basically dava food, lots of food, but we're gonna have like a breakfast, a tali right. breakfast. Tali right. breakfast, yeah. Uh, and what, what are we gonna try there? What type uh, of? We'll get uh, dal, dal paratha. chati, parathas, rotis. So everything. real Indian breakfast. All Indian breakfast. Fantastic, how right. long until we get there? An hour? So it'll just an hour. Just an hour? All right. Perfect, let's go. Wait, all right, sorry. The bridge which you are going to cross is uh, over the river Brahmaputra. The word Brahmaputra indicates means Brahma, the creator of the world, and Putra means sun in Sanskrit. So it is known as Brahmaputra, the river. So it was known as the Kolya Bhumura Bridge. The name Kolya Bhumura is, is that uh, what the Ahum, uh, sorry, the Assam was ruled by Ahums for 600 years. So among them, the Ahum general name was Kolya Bhumura. So the the bridge has been dedicated in his name. So it was uh, um, almost three, more than three kilometers, uh, the length, and we will cross while we are on our way to Kaziranga. The area around Tezpur is made up of rice farming. I think that's the number one industry here, right? Uh, not in, only in rice Tezpur. farming, we have got tea industry also, tea cultivation. Right here in Tezpur? Tezpur. Of yeah. course, you have to go a little bit ahead. Okay, yeah, because I haven't seen any tea, any tea like a... Uh, Plantation at all, like nothing, but I've, all I see is no, rice farming. Of this, of course. Okay. Oh man, this road is bumpy. It's, really it's about to get worse, <laughs> right? <laughs> we are on our way to Jakhalabandha now. From the turning point, it is another 10 kilometers. We have almost crossed uh, 3 to 4 kilometers. We've arrived in Jakhalabandha. 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 And then, uh, then, is everything closed? 
Yeah, no, you'll see. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. Hey, no, there's, there's some, there's some places open here. Here we are in Jolabonda. <laughs> and we're gonna look for a restaurant. There's many restaurants here, as you see. Lots of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I mean, there's a few dozen here. And we're looking for one that has the tally. And they're really heavy on veg here. So just straight veg. Oh, wow. This is, this is it. Maharaja Hotel. The long bus, the route bus that flies from one end to another. They all, at night especially. They came, uh, they started coming here from 7.30 onwards. So it's full? It's full every day, right up to say uh, till 3 a.m. 5, 3 a.m. to 4. So this is the Maharaja Hotel. We're gonna have a tally here. Is it a veg tally? The veg tally. How many items? Ten? Seven, seven? Seven, seven. Seven, okay. Okay, that's good, that's good. Seven, the guy's making chai right here. Can we have some chai? Yes, we can have chai. All right, I need chai. Chai, chai all day. Chai, chai. Oh, right there. Whoa. <laughs> I love it. I could drink chai forever. Starting off with some super, super hot chai. Mm. Mm. Nice and gingery. Mm. So creamy. Mm. Super milky. Delicious. Way too hot. Piping hot. Oh my god. My, this is my first breakfast tally ever. This joint is pretty amazing. As he was saying earlier, this place is open 24 seven. So at night when people come, a lot of buses come. So they can't have actual doors, so they keep it open. And as you see, it's open air. Very nice. Oh, uh, we have like some fans, that's it. We have a lot of tables, I think it's like 25 tables. It's pretty jam packed right now. And everybody's like watching me film. Um, they, so they make the food right in front. There's like a mini kitchen right in the front. You have like six guys working there. They're making rotis, they're making paneer. They're doing like a few different things there. And then here we have it. We have puris, I went with the puris instead of the rotis. And then we have, um, so this is gobi alu matar. This is paneer burji, paneer masala, kheer in the middle. Here and then over here we have dal, just dal fry, perfect. And then also we also got some pickle right here. This is the spicy part, right? You should bring a lot more. <laughs> no, I'm joking. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna open. We'll start with the booty. Look at this. This one's actually like a lot more crunchier. Like they can fry it more, and it just popped open right there. So like that, right? This is basically all of my hands. All right, so I'm gonna start with the doll fry. Oh, look at that big chunk of doll right there. Mm. Oh, wow, it's like a thick doll mash. Mm. I want to eat it straight. Mm. I'm in love with this doll. It's it's a little spicy. It's a little hot. Has a tomato in the middle. I'm gonna put the tomato on top, right there. Mm. Oh my god! I love it. Big tall mash. The lentils are very small, and you have onions as well. Oh man, this is so good. Mm. Paneer masala. Oh, it's gonna have it straight. Oh my god. Wow, delicious cottage cheese. Basically, this is a, like a cottage cheese curry. Masala with cottage cheese. Big, like big chunks of paneer. I'm gonna put it all in here right now. On top of the booty, make it like a mini taco. Mm. I just love paneer. Nice squares. They're not like too strong. What I like about paneer, it's like a light cheese. Mm, but with the masala, so good. Next thing we have is paneer burji. I love paneer burji. I had it in Mumbai multiple times. Oh, it's, it's basically like paneer eggs. That's what I, I think of it. It's like a scrambled eggs with paneer. They put tomato, they put onions. We just let them do it right there. I mean, it looks delicious. I'm gonna try just a little bit right now. Mm. This one's actually like very crispy. Mm. It's like they fry the paneer in the little chunks. Oh my god. More booty? Put it on top, right? Right there. Wow, it's still very oily. Still super hot too. <laughs> 
Det er så godt. If I lived in India, I'd be vegetarian. Just because the food is like phenomenal. And they always use cottage cheese. It's like the main staple in mean, veg food. And then obviously dal. But this paneer burji. Mmm. Mmm. Like it's so good. It's so good. Everything I've tried is so freaking delicious. So I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna get some of this paneer masala and the paneer burji. Right? And then I'm gonna get some of the other one. Let's do a huge mix here. Like that. Wow, this is like a burrito. Mm. So many different textures. Mm. Oh, man. It is so good. Next up is the alu gobi mata. So it's basically alu, which is potatoes. This is some peas, some tomato in here. Mm. It's basically like a potato salad with like some masala and some uh, some different herbs and stuff inside. Some vegetables. You have to eat it with the puri. This all goes great with puri. Puri puri all day. I like it a lot. It's very light. And what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm also gonna add some of the, the pickle. Pickle is not too spicy. It's a little pungent. Not too bad. So for me, the dal fry was incredible. And then the paneer masala. Paneer masala all day. The spiciness is catching up to me though. It's so spicy in here. The pickle really affected me. The last thing we have here is the curd. So curd is like, it's almost like a, a rice pudding, as you can see. Rice pudding, very milky, very nice. Mm -hmm. A milky rice pudding. Mm -hmm. Great way to end the meal. Mm. They also put some coconut flakes in here. Mm. Very sweet. Got that. Mm. No. It's like one of my favorite breakfasts ever. Veg breakfast on the side of the road here in Tejaraga. Who knew it could be this good? I mean, wow. Spicy, spicy. Mm. Oh yeah. This is done. This gear is basically made so that you can like fight the heat. Because right now, you know, it's started getting really spicy after I ate all those pickles. And then, they help me out. And then that's it. Chai. I actually think they're bringing us a special samosa right now. Oh yeah, here it comes. And here we have a potato samosa. No garlic, no onion. Mm. Oh wow, so very hot. Just give out the fire. Mm. I love it. Look at all the potato mash in there. And you see it's like steaming. Mm. So good, nice pepper in here. Nice masala with the potato. Very crunchy, very flaky. My samosa is basically like an empanada. That's the closest thing I know to it. <laughs> empanada. Wow. What an incredible breakfast tally. So good. Only 250 for the tally, and that's a special tally. Most people there aren't getting the tally like I got it. They're getting like maybe two things a puri or a roti but yeah i mean oh so amazing my friends thank you so much i mean the paneer was phenomenal i'm, I'm a big fan of paneer so I, like, I, yeah all i can right. eat paneer all day and then this is how, this is how it is yeah so there's many restaurants like that one i mean they almost look identical the kitchen's here on the outside inside everybody's eating you can get one two three four five things whatever you want and then they're making the roti they're making the puris in the back this is really really cool Wow, and it's how many are there? Wow, another one over there, another one over there. I mean, it just doesn't stop. 
And they're all making the same thing. Yeah, they're making the same thing. Yeah. It's basically just Indian fare, a big mix of Indian cuisine. Yeah. They come, these people, on their long road, they will halt, they will stop for a, uh, for half an hour. After taking the breakfast, they will continue their journey. Okay, so this is this is one of the buses that comes in this route. And many buses like this come like every day, like every non-stop, day. right? And yeah, so they're just going between states, either going to Upper Assam, to all the way to Lower Assam, yeah. and then going to other states. Oh, yeah, right. And then, yeah, I mean, this is it, just a tiny strip, but lots of restaurants. This town is made up of that. I mean, is it even a town? Whoa! <laughs> now we are going to Wild Grass, which will take another oh, one hour drive. One hour? Oh, yes. Perfect, so we're gonna go to the Wild Grass Resorts. I'm so excited, I can't wait to see my room. It's in the jungle, it's not in the national park, but it's like in the wilderness. This one hour drive from Jalabanda to Wagras Resorts is beautiful. We're like in a, like a valley here, and it's, you see there's like a mountain to the right, a mountain to the left. We have a lot of like rice fields all over the place, and the road is awesome. And the reason why the road is so good is because a lot of tourists come to the Kazaranga, right? Yeah. So they have, they have a lot of money in this area, so they're putting a lot of work into the roads. I mean, it's, there's no potholes. I mean, they're really keeping up to date. And yeah, I mean, just beautiful. We're going like up and down this winding road. This is like, I feel like I'm in the jungle somewhere, for real. That's how I feel. You see wildlife on this road? Yes, you see. We see it during monsoon also, but uh, during the tourist season also, sometimes they cross the road. What do you see, like elephants? Elephants, wild buffaloes. Then sometimes, of course, rhinos are also there. So we've just entered the, the park? Yes, we have already entered the Okay, park. and it's, if you didn't know, Kazaranga National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's a tiger, uh, Tiger Sanctuary or tiger, tiger Reserve. Tiger Reserve. Okay, so there's I think there's only 36 tigers, something like that. Yeah, it's more than much more than that. Much more than that. Much more. Than oh, okay. They told me something around that number. Sorry. They told me that number, something like 30 something. Yeah, uh, no, it's not that. It's well, much more than that. Okay, so and but there's what they have a lot here is the one horn rhino, and it's the only place in the world yes, where you can see the one horn rhino. And there's a few hundred, right? A few hundred rhinos? Thousand. 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 So we're going to see endless and rhinos. And two thousand. Two thousand yeah, rhinos. Yeah. One horn rhino, tiger, Asian water buffalo. We got monkeys. We have boar. We have birds. Peacocks, I'm sure. A lot of different animals. This, this is like an animal corridor. Animals just keep passing by. So you got to be really careful. Go slow. Stop if you see an animal. You really don't want to hit an animal here. You go to jail, right? You hit an animal. <laughs> Besides the fact that you might really get hurt. <laughs> animal safety. Wow. This is very nice. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look at the rhino. Look at the rhino. Yeah, go right here. Go right here. Oh, wow. Look at the rhinos. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Look, guys, rhinos. Rhinos right here. And a baby. Oh, wow. This is incredible, as you can see, so many rhinos. I see one, two, three, four, five, six. Six rhino and a six calf. and a calf, yeah. And a calf. Five. Incredible, and this is always like this? Sometimes it is more, sometimes it is less. And sometimes even people hardly can see any. any yeah, hardly, yeah. and I'm sure sometimes they come up right here, right? Right, yeah, that is why they are putting the electric the fence. fence. So that yeah. they... Wow, and then there's also a monkey here. He's just like, he popped out of nowhere and he's like yeah. staring at my face. <laughs> he, was, he was like giving me the eye when I was filming him. This is why I came to Assam. <laughs> For this reason. All right, let's continue. Let's get to the resort. Hopefully we see some elephants on the way. Let's hope. That is the Western Range Bagori. Bagori, the name is Bagori. And uh, that, what entrance to the park? Uh, there's a Western Range of Kaziranga National Park. And what's the, what, what's the range? What's that, what's that mean? The range means uh, the entire Kaziranga is divided into three ranges. Central Range, Western Range and Eastern Range. Okay. That is the Western Range. Just Check out this elephant. Like you get down? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get down. Even though it's domesticated, it's still amazing. It's, it's really amazing. That's it's right. still like. What's the name wow. of that uh, elephant? Do you remember? Uh, uh, elephant of wealth. Uh, elephant of wealth, but what in, in our world? Oh, Lux <laughs> Lakshmi. Lakshmi. Me, Lakshmi. <laughs> Look at me, Lakshmi. <laughs> oh my god. So we're seeing all the animals here, all the wildlife. I mean, that's domesticated, but it's still like, it still counts as seeing the wildlife. 
I really love elephants, and that's the Asian elephant. If you didn't know, that's the Asian elephant that can be found all throughout Asia. I saw it a lot in Thailand, and yeah, just, man, that was amazing. That was, it's just special to see it, you know, to see them. Even though it's domesticated, it's still like, you know, this animal's alive yes. in here, you know? Here we have more elephants. Guys, yes. look, look at this, look at this. When you move somewhere else, elsewhere, then if you see elephants, that is a very auspicious moment and people think that is a very good day for you. So it's basically good luck for the day? Yeah, yeah. So in fact, instead of one, you have seen four. I know, <laughs> I've seen so many, I've so many. Oh, uh, the cows are fighting there. <laughs> so many elephants, so many. Here's another like 10 right here. Oh my God, this is incredible. Woo! Elephants. Hello, my God. Oh, 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 <laughs> in my face. Beautiful. Beautiful. Can I touch him? Okay, okay. Okay. Woo! <laughs> I got it, I got it. Lots of elephants, man. So many elephants. And what they do is that when you start taking photos, they start asking for money. So I tipped him. Is it? I tipped him. I gave him something. Give him 50. Oh, yeah, it's a... 50 something, something, no? Yeah, right, right, right. I mean, you have to. If not, they're going to get mad at you. <laughs> I'm sure they get mad. I mean, you can't just go in there and take photos of them. This is the town in Kaziranga. It's known as Kahara which is five kilometers from a resort, from Wild Grass I mean. So we are arriving to Wild Grass Resort and we're on this super narrow path, very rocky. What's over here? So we've got some rice farm yeah, right, right here. Rice farm in here right. Man, I cannot wait to see my room. <laughs> yeah, you definitely will see. I'm so excited. I actually love staying in places like this because you're really out here in the wilderness at night all you hear is just like animals. 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 Oh, cows. Wild grass resort. And you see the building is like, it looks like, I don't know, it could be like Switzerland or, or like Germany type of style building, the architecture. Yeah, the wild grass is, that means uh, as far as the room is concerned, in each building we have got nine rooms. We have got two buildings. We have got 18 rooms plus one cottages. That one. So those are the cottages, the ones yes, out there. You're right. Hello. Right. So that was the dining hall. There you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And then right across from here we have an old building. That's where I'm staying. This is super cool. Yeah, this is our main building. This is the main building. Yeah, another one, that one. So that's the second building. Okay. Uh, this building is only nine room, and another one there also nine room. So we have to another one keep quarters at the side. 104, am I on the first level or second level? First floor. First floor. Feels like it's a huge mansion that's been converted into a hotel. That's what it feels like. Wow. This is your room, 104. Light. Turn on the lights. Nice, this is like a cottage feel. We have two twin beds here. We have some nice bamboo chairs. We have, I guess, what is this? For massage? Single, single bed. Single bed. It looks like a massage table. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, amazing. I love it. Like, I really love it. This is super relaxing. I can't wait to sleep here tonight. Hear the birds chirping. Hear the animals outside. And yeah, I cannot wait to experience Casaranga. This is just the beginning. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this morning. We had such a delicious tally for breakfast in the town of, what was the village called? Chakalabanga. Chakalabanga. Chakalabanga between Tezpur and Casaranga. Super, super delicious food. I mean, some of the best paneer I've had. Man, and the puri and the samosa. I mean, everything was just so delicious. And then we drove over here to Kazaranga National Park and we saw elephants on the street with all domestic elephants. We saw some rhino in the distance. We saw a monkey. And yeah, what an epic experience just entering. I mean, just, just that entrance. And we came here really early. We left at six in the morning, got here 9.30, but we stopped a lot. You know, it really takes like an hour and 40 minutes 
but we stopped for breakfast, we stopped to see animals, got a lot of shots, and then we, we got here to Wild Grass Resorts. As you can see, beautiful place in the middle of the jungle. I'm super excited. And guys, if you love this video, please give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in India. Peace. What's up guys, David Hoffman here from David's Bin here in Wild Grass Resort, Kaziranga National Park, Assam, India, Northeast India. And today I'm going with my friend Honey to the Orchid Park. Right. And the Orchid, Orchid Park, what is it? It's a Orchid Park, you'll, you'll get the collection of orchids, plus the, you'll see the different culture and uh, of the Northeast. Okay. And then you'll have food there. This is the biggest orchid collection in, in India. India. Yeah. yeah, that's right. In that's India. Right. Then we're also going to see some like traditional dancing. So, and then we're going to have an Assamese tally. Tally, yeah. That's Another right. tally. Uh, I'm having tallies every day right. here. I love it. Okay, let's go. Okay. I'm excited. Bye -bye. Let's do it. Kaziranga National Park, it's, it is declared by as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO. And it is famous also as a big five, which you have already seen in the board. And the whole area is known as Kaziranga. But as far as the village is concerned, they have got different names. They have got different names. So now we are on our way to the Orchid village, the Orchid place. We, the village name is known as Durgapur. But it is within Kaziranga. You can do a few things here. You can go to the Orchid Park. You can go on safari twice a day, so you can go in the morning elephant ride or in the afternoon jeep safari or you can do also jeep safari in the morning, but uh, I highly recommend doing both. Okay, we made it. Let's go. Hey, how you doing? Hello. It's a David. Okay. Uh, your good name? Lekapriya. 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 Okay, Lekapriya. Yes. Lekapriya. Perfect, let's go, let's go. So am I late for the dancing? Oh uh, no. Namaste, namaste, namaste. How you doing? Everything good? Yes, sir. Modem sir, 600. Orchids. 600 orchids? Yes, sir. It's the biggest orchid collection in India. Yes, Lots of orchids everywhere. Hey, how you doing? Hello, namaste, namaste. How are you doing? You can Hello. start from here. Okay, this perfect. Is our starting point. Namaste. Okay, here I'm going to explain you. Yeah. Actually, uh, this is our starting point, greenhouse. Here we conserve more than 600 species of orchids and all orchid collection from entire northeast. So this one is date flower of some foxtail orchid but it's not blooming yet actually it's blooming time starting with this month and it's completely bloom month of april because mid april that time our spring festival bihu so bihu is the national festival of assam so that time girls are wearing this flower foxtail orchid are done by her and perform dance bihu this one uh, dendrobium nobile state flower of sikkim dendrobium nobile nobly orchid common name uh, this one silogyne flacida silogyne flacida i'm not gonna have her explain to me what each one is but basically there's a huge collection from orchids from all around Northeast, right? So yes. every state up here. Yeah. Nagaland, Mizoram, yes, yes, Meghalaya, so everything. Yes. Okay, and is there any in particular that you love? Yeah, I love um, every orchids because uh, these are wild species and these are very rare species and this one also very beautiful. And I love state flower of Assam, foxtail orchid. <laughs> this is our National Museum, Assam National Museum, history. These are our, uh, actually uh, more than uh, 97 uh, tribes live in Assam and these are different tribes of 97 tribes, uh, so many uh, peoples are live in Assam. So different types of dresses, uh, in tribal uh, people dresses and these are how to make uh, a natural dye. So these are the ingredients of natural dye and these are uh, handlooms. Yeah, handlooms. Hand it's prepared the uh, uh, cloths like uh, um, our traditional cloths. It's a muga mekla chadar. It's okay. our traditional dress. It's a mekla chadar, and these are. These artifacts. Uh, yes, uh, mm, this one palan queen, and uh, these are some uh, m m instruments like fishing tools and uh, like uh, different types of instrument we preserve here. Can I take this one with me? This is <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want this mask. My friend, where to next? <laughs> yeah, next our uh, culture program. Culture program? Yes. So we're going to see just dancing? Yes. So Different types of dance. It's a bamboo dance, missing bihu and bihu dance. I, say, I love his scarf. Your scarf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hello, hello. Pleasure, nice to meet you. Where do I get this? Where do I get this? Oh, yes. Yeah. It's a boro, boro gamusa. It's a boro. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Thank you, thank you. Here we go. We're gonna watch three traditional dances. 
Let me sit. Do I sit there like the king? Yes, you can sit. <laughs> no, I'm gonna sit right here in the front. <laughs> That was really cool, the girls like jumping in between those bamboos as the guys closed it. Sorry I'm talking right now but another, another dance is about to start. Amazing. That was so cool. Very cultural. Oranges. Thank you. Fresh oranges. No. Mmm. A little sweet too. Oh, black salt. Okay, but what's the sweetness on top? Oh, this is so good. It's so amazing. So this is a different tribe, right? Yes, yes. it's a Bolo, it's a Bolo tribe. Bolo tribe. Bolo tribe. Bolo tribe. Wow, thank you guys, thank you, this is amazing. I feel so happy right now. I really love this, the colors, it's just incredible. Thank you, thank you. Look at this. Cactus Park, here we go, Cactus Park. How many, how many cacti are there? Uh, here we conserve more than uh, 300 species, 300 species of cactus. Cactus aren't native to Assam, so this has been all brought in, right? Yes. 
and it's from all over India, all over the world? Uh, yeah, uh, some species are actually, these are very rare species and uh, some species are uh, found in all over the world. Yes, and, but we are collection from uh, Sikkim. So it's all from Sikkim? Yes. Most of it? Uh, yeah. Wow. Most of them are collection from Sikkim. So if you guys don't know where Sikkim is, Sikkim is a state that is straddled between China, Nepal, Bhutan, and then south of it is West Bengal. In our herbal medicine garden. Herbal medicine garden uh, and here, here we conserve more than 500 species of herbal plants. Lemongrass. Lemon yeah. Oh, it smells great. Uh, this one bryophyllum. Bryophyllum uh, leaves are always uh, used for like, uh, uh, they protect, the, uh, they prevent kidney stone. Uh, name is poison berry and uh, this pulp we use in uh, cooking. And we fry them and we eat uh, mixed with uh, rice. It's just the name. Name, name is poison berry. So poison berry. Yes. But it's not poisonous. Yeah. In our language, we <laughs> I, I don't want to try it. <laughs> <laughs> you try this actually. So everything here is medicinal. Yes. Again, you taste this one, stevia. This is very sweet. <laughs> it is sweet. Sweet plant. Mm. Yeah. Wow. It is like honey. It's a honey plant. That plant like left my mouth super sweet. A little bitter though. A little bitter. But it's pretty good, and as you saw, that's all medicinal plants. We also saw the cacti, and now we're gonna go back to the juice uh, spot, like the juice bar right there, and we're gonna try some apple juice. Wood, wood apple is it? Wood apple. Wood apple. Yeah, I need something to like wash all this down. I have so many different tastes in my mouth now. This is wood apple. It's mixed with milk and sugar. Oh wow! Tastes like a milkshake. Yep. Like an apple milkshake. Oh, super thick, heavy. Let's continue our journey through the orchid park. Now we're going to the bamboo yes, forest. Bamboo garden. Bamboo garden. Yes, not bamboo. forest. Yeah, not the forest. <laughs> bamboo garden. Bamboo garden. More than 54 species of bamboo. 50 species of bamboo. Yes. Wow. Yeah, bamboo is huge out here. They make so many different things with bamboo. They eat bamboo. <laughs> I love bamboo. It, it's uh, bamboo shoot. Oh, yes, yes. I can I can do that all day. Bamboo shoot curry yeah. or chutney. Bamboo shoot chutney. Yes, it's very tasty. It's very tasty. This bamboo actually make a foods like a bamboo rice. I actually had bamboo chicken yesterday in Tezport. Okay. And this is the bamboo they use because what happens is they take it out and then they make it hollow inside and they stuff the chicken or the rice inside, then they cook it. So there's 50 different species here. I've never seen half of these. And this one is a black bamboo? Yeah, it's a black bamboo. Yellow bamboo. Now that we explored all the gardens, we're gonna go get one more juice and then we're gonna eat a huge tally. She's saying like 18, 20 items. 20 veg items? Yes. Okay, so it is like a veg tally. Yeah. That's what I want. I don't need, I don't need non-veg. Veg. <laughs> veg? Yeah. You love veg? I like veg, in, in India, in yeah. India. Before we eat a tally, I'm gonna try two different snacks here. This is actually black rice with jaggedy. Oh wow, it's like chocolate, mmm, very chocolate, grainy, sweet, and so good. Next up we have ladu with coconut. <laughs> this is ladu with coconut. It looks so sweet and delicious. Mmm, oh wow, it's very sweet. This ladu is just coconut, grinded coconut mixed with sugar and turned into this big ball. It's the same with sugar and milk. So this banana with sugar and milk? Yeah, it's a bean banana. Hey, what do you like? Bean banana. Whoa, this is like another super thick milkshake. No. Mm-hmm. Generally what we used to do is that. Mm-hmm, it's delicious. It's a lot sweeter than regular banana. Ah. But I think it's also the milk and the sugar they put in here. And here we have it, a ginormous veg tally. We have 26 items here, it's like, Potato, so aloo, we have uh, a lot of vegetables, lots of vegetables. We have chickpeas, we have dal. Uh, what else do we have? We have rice, more nuts, more vegetables. I mean, I love it because it's so veg. It's like 100% veg focus, and I've never seen a tali this beautiful. I mean, I've seen massive ties before, but this one's so unique. Everything's so delicate. Wow. Okay, how do I do this? <laughs> 26 items. Wow, I have no idea how to start but she's telling me to start with the car. Yes. So just take off a little bit of rice right to the side, right? Yes. And then put some car right there. Put some of that there. And right here we go. Mm. A little sweet. Yeah. No? What's car? It's like a pudding. Um, Almost like a pudding. Black lentils, so just yes. go in here and grab some. 
The straight? Mmm, I like it. A little thick. It's not just lentils, there's other things in here. It's very light. Mmm. Feels super healthy. It feels almost like a like a black bean mash because it's super thick and it feels like black beans. Wow, okay, next up. Try. The doll, the other doll? Yes, the doll. So this is the, the yellow doll. Mmm. Super light, very soupy. Mmm. Wow. And that's only three. Okay. <laughs> Let's keep going. What's next? You can start uh, another. This is ginger? Brinjal, brinjal. Brinjal. Oh, I love brinjal. Mmm. Eggplant. Eggplant. Super nice. It's like they did it on the walker, like, you know, like stir fry almost. And we have some onions in it as well. Oh, it's great. I love it. This is small potatoes. This is like tiny potatoes. Yeah, tiny potatoes. It almost feels like soft peanuts. The fern. Fern. This is like a, a wild herb or something? Mmm. It's a little bitter. Not my favorite herb. <laughs> this one. Yes. What is this? Mmm. Uh, yeah, elephant apple curry. Elephant apple curry? Mmm. It almost feels like a, like, I would say compote. So it's like, like mashed potato soupy. Mmm. Elephant apple yes. curry. Oh, I love it. Mm. It's a little, it's a little strong. It's a little strong, like a bitter apple in a way. So this is star, which one? No. Star fruit right here. Yes. Oh my god, that's so good. That's so sweet. Mmm. Because usually star fruit is like very sour. This one's a little sweet. Yes. Arum. Arum leaves. Arum leaves. Yes. It almost feels like a, a spinach mash. That's what it feels like. Like a mash of spinach, or but it's maroon leaf. Yes. Maroon. Arum, arum. Arum, 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 arum leaf. leaf. I don't even know what arum leaf is. Yes. I guess I have to see it. Yes. Blackhead snake chutney, so this is a fish chutney. Fish chutney, yes. Oh, wow. Mm. It's like a, this is almost like a ceviche. Do I bite those bones? I mean, tiny bones. Mmm, that's delicious. I love that one. I thought this was all veg. Yeah. That's not veg. Uh, no, it's not a veg. It's a non-veg. <laughs> that's the only thing that's not veg. Okay. Yeah, Asamisu. Do they have to? They have to. No, it's... The star food so far is my favorite. Mmm. Lady's finger. Lady's finger? Yeah. It's called lady's finger? Yeah. Mmm. It almost feels like eggplant. It almost yes. feels like an eggplant. Is it eggplant or no? No, no, no. It's only bendy, uh, lady's finger. I don't know what lady's finger is, but it's amazing. If you like eggplant, you're gonna love it. Same consistency, same flavor. Oh wow, what's next? There's so many things. It's hard. Beans. Is this beans? This one? Mmm. It's actually like veggies with peanuts. Yeah. Why is it peanuts? Yeah. No, it's, it's long bean. It's a long bean. Uh, yeah, it's a yeah. Long yeah, bean. it's long bean with like with like a salted peanut in there. Very nice. Very crunchy too. Wow. So where where's the next one? Uh, you can try this one. This one's next. It's a bitter taste. Bitter. Um, bitter girl. Mm. Girl. Yeah. Karina. It's a little bitter. Not my favorite. Oh. You can try this it's too bitter. Veg. This is mixed veg? Yeah. Pea, tomato, potato, mash. Milky goat. Okay. Yes. It's mixed. Mm. Yeah, it's a good mash. Yeah, it's more gravy ish. Yeah. It's not like soupy and it's not curry, it's more gravy. It's delicious. So, this is like another veg. It's a pumpkin. Uh... So, pumpkin leaves. Yes, pumpkin leaves and potato. Mm. I'm really into pumpkin. I don't know where I'm getting the spice from. The spice came from here? Yes. Maybe. Ooh, it's a little hot. Maybe I have another chili. No, I'm joking. There's a whole <laughs> there's a whole thing of chilies here. They really want me to get like really <laughs> spicy on me. <laughs> Why are you doing this to me? <laughs> this is another one, okay. It's a leafy vegetable. Mm -hmm. Brahmi. Or spinach. That's straight spinach. It's a yeah, it's a tastes like a spinach. Uh Same it's thing. a brahmi. Brahmi. Yeah. Brahmi. Mm. I can eat the whole thing. I'm gonna eat all this, I'm gonna eat the whole thing. Okay. 
This is jackfruit. This is jackfruit? Yeah. Oh, I love jackfruit. Mmm. <laughs> jackfruit is so good. It's like a big piece of meat, actually. Like yes. the meat of jackfruit. It almost feels like I'm eating chicken. In yes, a way. Yes, it tastes like a chicken. It's like, and bamboo. It has a very similar consistency as bamboo. Mmm, so good. You try this one, pickle. This one? Yes, it's a. This, it looks like a big yeah, it says rock. It's spicy. It's spicy. Yeah, it is just a little bit. It's the mustard seeds. Oh, oh, in the water. Oh my God, that is like, like straight mustard. It's like having pure mustard. Yes, it's a pure mustard. I can't even believe that. It looks like a big rock. <laughs> but it's a mustard rock. Yes. It's, it's a lot of things. Okay. Yeah. It's a... Duck eggs mixed with small tomato. I would never know that's egg. Mm. Almost like a spinach stir fry with something else. But and onions as well. So this is the next one. Uh, it's a leafy vegetable. Mm -hmm. It's a leaf chutney in a way. It's like a chutney. Yeah, it's a chutney. Mm. This one also chutney. Very nice, very light that one. And this is this is like the mint chutney. Mm. It's a mint chutney. What's the best one? Mm. This one's a little bitter. Yes. A little bitter. Mm. Sometimes it's sweet. Whew, some bitter, forget bitter, spicy. <laughs> I just have the doll. Yes. Mm. Oh my god. Super spicy that one. <laughs> this one. So this this is actually bitter flour. Mm. Everything here is very mixed in terms of the veggies. Like you have like sweet, and you have spicy, then you have like very potent, very hard with the mustard too. Whew. I'm gonna go with the aloo now. This is like a little aloo. So this is a mashed potato. Mm. Very nice. I love how they mix different vegetables into it. And some onion. Mm. Incredible that one. This one is this tomato. Yeah, tomato chutney. Tomato chutney. This is basically Mexican salsa. There's tomatoes, there's chilies, there's onion. Oh, I like it. Tiny chilies. It's really potent. Mmm. It's hot. Ooh. Okay. Break time. <laughs> what haven't I tried from here? I think this one. It's a brinjal chutney. Eggplant chutney. Delicious. Mmm. Brinjal. Brinjal. It's eggplant. Same thing. Mmm. Mmm. I just love the taste. It's like a little sweet. I can eat eggplant all day long. Everything. This one? What's this one? Oh, so this is actually banana, banana flour? Banana flour. Mmm, I love it. It's like it's like pulled, like pulled pork, but pulled vegetables that have been mashed together and, and like put into this like square. Wow. Okay, so what's this one? Mmm, that was garlic. Yes, Delicious vegetables. And you're supposed to mix all this with the rice and use your hands. I'm not doing that today. <laughs> I can't because if not, then I can't touch the camera. But yeah, some rice. I'm in love, yeah. I think I'm gonna stop for a second. I need a, I need a break. Maybe a chili? One chili? Is it spicy? Yeah, it's so spicy. It's spicy? <laughs> <laughs> Not so hot. Look, if it's too hot, what you do is you take a bite of this. It's hot. It's super hot. You want to try this? My god, this has been an enormous feast. I mean, I've been going to town on all this, so much good food. Wow, I gotta like relax, but. If 26 items isn't enough, they're giving me number 27 and number 28. Okay, so here we have banana stems, and then here we have sticks, right? Drumsticks. Drumsticks, drumsticks. All right, so I'm gonna try banana stems here. Tastes like stems. It has a real nice banana taste to it. Mmm. 
to a banana mash. There's some other stuff in here. Probably some onions, something else in there, like minced, diced up. Uh, is this diced up stems? Stick, but it's not a drumstick like a chicken. It's just a drumstick uh, vegetable. Mmm, it's a nice curry. Mmm, super sweet, super like rich, light spices. No, oh, I mean we did it. Tried 28 different items. This is the ultimate Assamese veg tally. It was so good. The price is only 160 rupees, right? 160 rupees for all this. Obviously, it's all veg. So if you want non-veg, you have to ask for that. They also have that. They have chicken. They have a bunch of different things. But this is so amazing. I think for me, the number one was the star fruit. That was phenomenal. A lot of the eggplant stuff is really good too. The doll, the black doll was insanely good. And yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed the day. We explored the orchid garden. I mean, it was incredible. We saw orchids, we tried a lot of fruits. We, uh, what else did we see? We saw the cactus, we saw medicinal plants. We saw the dancing, which is awesome. I mean, that was an experience on its own. And then we have this ginormous tally. And yeah, if you wanna have this tally, come here to the orchid garden right here in Kazaranga National Park, like right next door. Wow, I mean, I'm in awe. This is so good. I'm like exploding though, sorry. And guys, I hope you love this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel adventure in Assam, India. Peace. Okay, time for some breakfast. Let me go eat some puri sabji or something. I'm so hungry. Oh, I love this resort out here in the wilderness. Very cozy, very cute. I love how it's like 1970 German style. Very cool, right? I like it, I like the architecture. Let's see, let's see what breakfast is like. I think they have some booty sabji. Booty sabji. Here we have it, breakfast. We have a nice booty right here. This is actually like a more flaky booty. It just breaks, like a little crunch. Then we have this roll. So this is dough with cabbage inside. I've never seen this before. And then we have here potatoes, small potatoes. And here we have some mint chutney. I'm sure this is hot. I'm gonna put it to the side. But right here, I'm gonna try this roll first. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's more like mixed vegetables, like cabbage, onion, carrot, a bunch of things. Mmm, this roll's amazing. Oh, the mint chutney is pretty good. I'm get some more of that. The roll's delicious. It actually has something like, like a mini curry in it. Mmm. Oh wow, super light. Same time, it's really filling, obviously, because it's dough. I'm gonna have the booty. Mmm. Booty every day. This is more like a, it's more like a cracker booty. Oh wow. Mmm. I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get some of this. Put it on the booty. My little taco. This doesn't break on me. Mmm. Oh, with the mint chutney. That mint chutney isn't too hot. A little bit of spice. It always does, but it's pretty good. Up here in Assam, they don't really love spice. Like, it's not like Southern India where it's like spice, spice, spice. These are small potatoes, very tiny potatoes. And this is something super sweet. I don't know what vegetable this is, but it's so good. Mmm. Mmm. It's like pumpkin, actually. Mmm. This food is actually called luchi. Very easy. Bam. This and the pumpkin together. Let's put it there, right, like that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, man. It's so sweet and delicious. Mmm. Pour up like that. Man, the best thing here is the pumpkin. I love the roll, though. The roll with the mint chutney. I mean, everything together is great. You know, what's really amazing about India 
is that even though this is like my whatever, my 60th breakfast in India, it's completely different than anything I've had before. I've never had a cabbage, dough road, and then sweet pumpkin, and then all these potatoes. I mean, the potatoes itself, I've never seen that before, like tiny potatoes. Mm. Oh yeah, so good. And here we have it, the booty with the pumpkin inside. So go like that. Look at that, super flaky this one. Extremely flaky. Just so sweet. I'm gonna end the meal with some chai. Ooh, what's happening here? Like that. I don't know, I think this thing's broken. So up here in Assam, there's two different types of tea. There's red tea and then there's regular tea, which they always add milk. The, the red one's more like minty. I personally like the one with milk, it's really good. Hey, good afternoon everyone. This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Kazaranga National Park in Assam, India, Northeast India. And the reason I came to Assam was to see the one horn rhino. And this is the spot to see. There's over 2,000 rhino here. And the national park is also a tiger reserve. So there's a lot of tigers. I think there's over 80 tigers. There's uh, Asian buffalo, there's monkey, there's birds. So many different things, flora and fauna. And I'm here with my guide, Gokul. Hi, Gokul. Gokul, Gokul. Yeah, yeah. And Gokul, where are we going? Which part of the... Now we are going to the western part of the Kaziranga. Western part? Yeah. Okay. So now we are going to western and we can see the, a lot of rhino there. And Perfect. the wild buffalo and the wild elephant. And oh, and the types. wild elephant too? Yeah. Okay, and awesome. Four types of deer. Hog deer, swamp deer, somebody deer, and then bucking deer you can see there. Wow, so this is going to be my first game drive yeah. in Kazaranga National Park. Are you guys ready? I'm yeah. so pumped. Let's do it. Okay. Let's go. Climbing on. I just love game drives. Game drives are my favorite. You go out for like three hours. Right now it's almost two. We're going to be out there for until only five. We're going to go just driving around trying to see what animals we see. And yeah, just a great experience, the open vehicle, never leave the vehicle, never feed the animals. Uh, you should bring a hat. I didn't bring my hat today, unfortunately, but it's a little it's a little overcast, so it's, it's okay. And this vehicle is a, what type of vehicle is this? Gypsy. A, a Jeep? Gypsy. A Gypsy? Yeah. A gypsy. Yeah. Kazaranga, I'm so excited, I'm so excited. Like, I, I've been, you know, I've been telling everybody, like, this is why I came, <laughs> to see the one horn rhino. Like, I want to see it up close, like I've never seen it before, you know? Yeah. It's, this is the only place in the world, right? One horn yeah. rhino? You can see more in the uh, Chitwan National Park and the Pobitara and the Manas also, you can see the one horn but, rhino. But they're here. The biggest population of the one horn rhino in the world is right here in Kazaranga National Park. Let's go. And uh, find me a tiger. Of course. Maybe. <laughs> we can see the tiger. We can try it. After a quick 20 minute ride from my resort, Wildgrass Resort, we are here at the western entrance. Yes. Wow. And so what do we do here? We just check in? We just uh, check in. We take the permit, the root tool, entry fees, and the camera fees. Then we will go inside. To enter the park, it costs 100 rupees for Indians and then 650 rupees for foreigners. Uh, now we are entering the Kajiranga Park. So we just some paperwork here. We're entering the park. Yay. Amazing. Yeah, this is the Diflu River. So now we are entering the western part. So just, just enter the park. 430 square kilometer. So it's huge. Yeah, this is divided four ranges: central, western, and eastern range. This is our first rhino right there. One horn rhino. Oh, oh, hit the brakes hard. That is called a white-throated kingfisher. If you know the Kingfisher beer, this is the bird it's named after. Kingfisher. It looks beautiful, blue. Yeah. Red jungle fowl. You can see the egret on the uh, rhino. They are cleaning the, some insect and the teak. Look, this is male, male one. So those the rhino is cut it on the back. So it's bleeding. So some insect or something is going there. So those egret are cleaning that one. Wild boar? Yeah, nice. that's a wild boar. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty amazing how the birds are cleaning his wound, yeah. right? Yeah. I've never seen that before. Yeah, that is actually what happens. Sometimes they have to wear a painting, 
some insect or something they have to cut it yeah so they are cleaning all the egret and some minor bird also you know minors so we see a few more rhino but they're like super deep in the bush it's gonna be hard to see them even with the telephoto lens uh, this is the different habitat of the Kaziranga. You can see that side not so much woodland and no grassland. This is just subspecies of the woodlands. So you can see there now it start the woodland area. So here we have a watchtower or a lookout point. Dunga watchtower. Wow, you can see a lot of deer right now. See some buffalo, some pelicans. There's a rhino and a wild buffalo. Hog deers. You see that right now? Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. And so many wild buffalo over there. Over there. Right over there. I think better view to binoculars. Yeah, let me see with the binoculars. You can see the binoculars. Wow. It's a lot. Yeah. And that's a rhino. Oh, there he is. You can see one rhino in the water. Yeah, I mean, there's multiple rhino. Wow, the one in the water is really cool. It's awesome, but they're so far. Yeah. So far. And some deer also in the water. Well, that was nice. That was really nice. Saw a bunch of animals out there. A little too far, even with the lens. It was a little too far. So let's continue. Let's go. I want to see, I want to get really up close to the elephant and the rhino and any other animal I can. This is called swamp deer. This is a critical endangered species. This is called another name is Barosinga also. Right here we have five rhino, five beautiful rhino. And if you guys didn't know, rhino are solitary animals. So the only ones that you'll see together are the mother and the calf and they're together for three years. And then once, you know, the calf is a little more juvenile, it'll go off on its own. And these are, you know, these are herbivores. They just graze the grasslands, they eat all day. That's why you see their heads just down the whole time. It's a little hard to get them like looking up because they're literally always eating. And it's amazing. So rhino can run up to 70 to 80 kilometers per hour. Yeah, I didn't know that. And also when the mother is pregnant, she's pregnant double the pregnancy of a human. So 18 months yeah. of pregnancy. That's intense. 18 months, my God. And they're everywhere here. I mean, I see two more right here, three more. Wow. But they're, they're a little far, so we're trying to get closer to them. But here, when you know, on the safari, you gotta stay on the path. You can never off-road. That's why you go on the elephant safari. Because the elephant safari, you go off-roading. Here we have a bunch of domestic elephants carrying grass. Wow, the, the baby's so cute. The baby's so freaking cute. Oh my god, I love the baby. Here we have two rhino and an Asian water buffalo. They're right here on this lake. This is actually like a pond, right? Because right now it's dry, but when it's the wet season, this is all one big lake, right? Huge. Yeah. Wow, so nice. The buffalo take a mud bath now. Okay. You taking a mud bath? Yeah. yeah. Right here we have a rhino, right there. This building you see behind me is called Romi Camp. This is an anti-poaching camp. This is where the ranger sleeps at night, basically guards the animals. Changeable hawk eagle. This is changeable hawk eagle. It's got something, I think. The changeable hawk eagle is eating something. I mean, he has it like in his claws, so we can't really see it, but we got really close to him. And here's another rhino. There's so many rhino, over 2,000. So, I mean, basically, that's the easiest thing to spot. Right here, we have a lone juvenile elephant. He's just walking through the brush. Let's be quiet. Shh. This is the woodland area. Woodland area? So now we are coming to the woodland area. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it looks like a whole different world in here. It looks like more like a rainforest. Just the way the trees are. I mean, very, very thick bush here. I don't see anything. I don't see anything beyond the first like 10 feet right here. It's crazy how the, the like scenery completely changed. The landscape here is so different from over there. It was like completely thick bush. And now it's like open area with just like little trees here and there. 
whole night what we're doing is a little dangerous. You gotta hold on for dear life here and just uh, do not let go because he turns a little bit, you can fly off this thing. You can never get out of the vehicle here in the National Park. You can never get out of the vehicle. That's for your safety. For the past half hour, we haven't seen anything. The first hour, we saw a bunch of animals, lots of rhinos, some elephant, some birds, some deer. But literally, it's been like a ghost town for the past half hour. We've just been driving on this long path. And uh, that's the thing about game drives is that you really have to, you know, go on multiple. It's always hit or miss, you know? Oh, what bird is that? There you go. A great headed eagle. Uh, so yeah, I mean it's a hit or miss every time. Uh, you know, sometimes you can go on a game drive, you see every single animal that's a, that's available there, and sometimes you see nothing. So yeah, I highly recommend multiple game drives. I'm doing two game drives and one elephant safari, just so I get the, the opportunity to see as much as possible and possibly see a tiger. I mean that's the main reason. Well, that's not the main reason. That, that's one of the things I really am dying to see a tiger. I've seen almost every animal in Africa, but I haven't seen a tiger in India yet. Not yet. One day. We have a hog deer right here. Oh, but he's leaving. No. So we saw a bunch of elephants. We had to be really, really quiet. They, he turns off the car and then we just sit still. And we were just changing lenses and getting different shots. But beautiful animals. And then when we started leaving, another elephant alone, a pregnant female, was walking up the road. So we stopped, you know, we stood still for a bit. We got some more shots. Just a beautiful experience seeing the elephants there in the wild, relaxing, eating. And there was also a baby in there. And wow, the sun's setting right now and it's like bright orange. And we're gonna see if we see anything else. If not, we're just making our way out of the park. And hopefully we do see something more up close. I really wanna see an animal like right here, which is the hardest part. We haven't seen anything like really up close, except that elephant. But as soon as we turn on the car, he booked it. Oh, and here's some rhino, here's some rhino. Rhino and buffalo. You know, one of the coolest things is that these guys know exactly how many animals are in this park. And in this park, there's over 2,000, no, there's not over it, there is 2,413 right. one-horn rhinos. And then how many tigers you said? 80? 108 tigers. After three hours of exploring Kazaranga National Park, we finished our game drive. It's 5 p.m., it's actually 5.05. The sun is setting, as you can see right here. And yeah, I mean, what an amazing experience. We saw basically everything we can see. The only thing we didn't see was tiger. Yeah, we got really close to elephants, rhinos, some buffalo as well. Like we saw some of the swamp deer, swamp deer, hog some deer. hog deer. Right now we see there's more deer, there's more rhinos. We're almost out of the park now. We're going back to Wild Grass Resort to have some food. I'm super hungry. It's dinner time. Let's go. Welcome to dinner at Wild Grass Resort. Tonight we're gonna start off with a vegetable cream soup and then we're gonna have a few different Assamese dishes. Mm. Oh, super creamy. Mm. Nice soup. Mm. Still too hot though. And then they also give me some pepper, right? Oop, a little too much. <laughs> I mean, after after being in a car for about three hours today. Well, I was in a car earlier today, but two, but the three hour safari drive, I mean, I built up a huge appetite. Oh, this is like almost like a broccoli, cream broccoli soup. Mmm. But they had a few different vegetables in here as well. 
It's straight up cream. I like it though. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. All right, so they brought me another, like, Assamese tally here. It's all veg, as you can see. So many delicious things. We have dal, we have rice, we have chapati. Then we have, like, lentils, potatoes, beans. What is this? This is banana leaf. This is yam. We got more vegetables. We have fern. And then here we have car. So I'm going to start with the car. Pick it up. Right there. You get a little bit of everything, just put it in. But now leaf is great. Wow, so this is the mashed potatoes. This is potatoes with beans. All veg. They really love veg out here. This is like mashed lentils. We have yam, right? My God, this looks so good. Everything looks delicious. And then we have, here we have a vegetable. I love the veggies here. They're very, very organic, very green, very like dark green. And anyway, here we have the fern, right? Hmm. Fern, perfect. And the best thing to do, for me, I like the chapati over the rice. Ooh, nice chapati. <gasps> oh, I got two. I'm gonna put this one back in. It stays hot in there, right there. Lock it up. Here we go, break it up. The car. This car is some car is like an Assamese dish. Mmm. A little sweet. Mmm. Almost like pudding. Next to the banana leaf. Mmm. Still like banana leaf. Mixed with potatoes. Mmm. With your body, it's great. Oh yeah. Next up we're going with the mashed potatoes. Mmm. A little spice in there. The green chili. The best mashed potatoes of my life. <laughs> Next we have green beans and mashed potatoes. So much flavor. Love the spices. This is like a mashed lentil. Mmm. Very good. Very good. This is the yam. Mmm. Well, it's oh, it's case. amazing. It's amazing. I'm like loving every second. All right. That's mm. Banana leaf. Amazing. Banana. I love the the beans with the with potato. potato. Mm -hmm. yeah. Very nice. And the fern. It's really good, but it's very strong. Very strong. Oh, very strong, yeah. Yeah. But I eat it like this, you know? Regular. Mmm. I won't lie. I can't eat everything. <laughs> No, but I love chapati. Chapati. Yeah. Chapati is my favorite. Oh, it's hot. Let's sit there for a second. You break it, cut it in half. Take another piece. My friend just brought me some curry leaf fritters. Curry leaf fritters. Super deep fried. Mmm. Mmm. Just take masala. Masala fritter. And and you basically just eating leaf. Wow, so good. Somebody should put this into a bag and sell it on the street like a potato chips. I put it here. This. <laughs> so let's just try the doll straight from here. Yeah, there's a doll. This doll looks great. I'm just gonna try it right here. Mmm, very light, extremely light. This one. Mmm, like a delicious soup. So good. Delicious. Banana leaf is so good. I'm just gonna put it into the chapati and go all out. Get some of this one. I won't lie, I'm pretty stuffed. I can't even touch the rice. I had two chapatis, I had a lot of that food. Now I'm just gonna end it with some rice pudding, Indian rice pudding. Mmm. Oh yeah. It's freaking delicious. Super rich, super decadent. Mmm, so good. What I love about it is that the rice is like literally coming from the farm next door. Mmm. And that's it, our wild grass tally dinner is over. So many delicious things, the car, the rice pudding, the lentil mash, the banana leaf, 
and the curry the curry leaf fritters are oh, so good and yeah today we went on a game drive our first game drive here in Kaiseraga National Park the reason why I came here is because I wanted to see that one horn rhino it was just something on top of my list when I thought about Assam and then you know obviously seeing tigers but it's very rare I mean there's only a hundred something out there so I mean the chances are you know, it's a hit or miss with a game safari to even see animals. So sometimes you go out there, you see everything. Sometimes you see a few things. Sometimes you see nothing. Like today, we had like 45 minutes of nothingness. But that's just how it is. I personally love game drives. I just love wildlife. Like we're out there three hours just looking. You know, you never know what's going to happen. It's, just, it's always a surprise. And yeah, this, this food is so good. The wildlife here is amazing. And if you guys are thinking about coming to India, definitely think about Northeast India and coming to Assam. There's so many beautiful things out here, but Kazaranga is something very special. Food's delicious, wildlife's incredible. And yeah, what else can I tell you guys? If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below, subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel food adventure in Kazaranga National Park, Assam, India. Peace. Hey, what's up everyone? This is David Hoffman from David's Been Here in beautiful Kazaranga National Park, Assam, India, Northeast India. I'm here with my guide, Gokul. Hi. And today we're going to the central, central part. Central part of the Kazaranga. Okay. So we're doing the elephant ride in the central part, but now we are going to the Jeep Safari in the in the park. central park yeah, okay central park. perfect so, we're so maybe we can see more elephant and rhino maybe hot good weather then we can see the tiger also yeah i mean it's still early it's like 8 10 in the morning so we're gonna go out on a game drive i'm super excited Are you guys ready let's go game drives game drives the cool thing about game drives is that you never know what to expect it's hit or miss you never know we might see a bengal tiger the first minute in we might see it at the end when i see any animals at all but then you might see everything. Yeah, this is the Tata tea plantation. This is Hatikuli tea estate. And this is tea garden is organic. Organic you know? tea garden. Yeah, they are not used the fertilizer. So that's a good tea. They have a lot of variety of tea. Here at the entrance of the central part of the park, we have a handicraft shop. You also get your ticket here. I'm gonna get some chai. And uh, this tea is like piping hot. It's always like this, extremely hot. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. So, the chai costs 10 rupees. I mean, that's standard rate everywhere. Ready? Oh, it's too hot. It's too hot. Ah, back up in the car. I guess I'll hold my chai. Oh. And then it costs 200. It cost me 200 rupees for the camera. And how much is it for the entry itself? Uh, entry piece is. 650 rupees entry fees and the road toll 400 and 200 for the camera fees. Okay, so total came out to like what was that 1250? Something like that? Yeah. Pretty good deal. That's not bad. If you go to Africa, it costs you like five times that. Say hi, say hi. Hi, hi. <laughs> YouTube. Yeah. We had to stop the car so I can drink this. Happy. It's too hot. I think that the car shakes too much and this thing is like flying. All right, guys, I'm done. We're now entering the park. Right at the entrance of the park, there's like some souvenir shops. They're selling like rhino t shirts, you know, everything made out of teak. And this is the park. This is actually where we did the elephant safari, right here. This is where we started it. But this time, we're going deep, deep into the wilderness. Just moving in the lap. Yeah. Oh, there it is, a macaque. Yeah, wow, on the tree. Also. Visa's macaque. That's the uh, that's the monkey you see all over India. Yeah. Everywhere. Mostly, I've seen it like in Maharashtra. You know. Yeah, uh, it's Maharashtra and some big city also. Yeah, big Lattes. cities. Varanasi, full. Yeah, yeah. Full. yeah. You can see the sambar deer, and a lot of their uh, open billy store. They are just now they are finding some small kind of snail. They're eating the snail. So that's what they eat snails? Yeah, yeah. There's a Brahmis python. He's come uh, out from the hole and he'll be take the sun bath now. I mean, I've never seen a python in the wild, first time. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, first this, time. This is called Brahmis python. We have a lot in, in America. People release them. Oh. Not good. <laughs> 
I'm looking at a Bengal monitor lizard, his head sticking out. Wow. Yeah. I mean, I would never have seen it. <laughs> I don't know how you saw it. Here is two types of lizard. One is the Bengal monitor lizard and another one that is called water monitor lizard. You can see somewhere they have to swimming in the water. Hoku? Hoku. Oh. Oh my god, the Indian massage continues. <laughs> it's like non stop bumps, non stop. It's been a pretty exciting day. I mean, we saw some birds, we saw some deer, we saw a python, a, a monitor lizard, and a bird. I mean, pretty cool. I, I'm happy because we didn't see any of that yesterday. So, most of that we didn't see yesterday. And yeah, I just, I really want to get really close to a rhino, like right here on the side of the road. Hopefully, we can make that happen. It's uh, right here we see a lot of thick, thick, thick bush. This grass is called elephant grass. It's really high, thick grass. Elephant eat it, buffalo eat it, and rhino eat it. Look at the hog deer over there. There's uh, three, four hog deer, male and female, all together. You can see it's a small kind of baby also there, I think. It's very nice looking. And there's also three over here. Look at them. So three over here, three over here, and this is like a little valley that goes between the grassland. These are all silk cotton trees, so now it's already burned this side. So silk cotton every year fall down the park. So everywhere is come to the plant. You can see a lot up there. And there is very spiky in the small time. When getting old, then you can't see any spike. You can see that side all. The flung watch tower. Maybe you can see from here, there is a wild buffalo. The Plang Watch Tower. So we're gonna go to the top of this tower and we can see the wild, the Asian water buffalo right there. Let's go up here. I love these watch towers. From here you see over everything. Oh, wow, open air. This is like, gotta be really careful here because it easily slip and fall. <laughs> there they are. Asian water buffalo. We saw five Asian water buffalo. I don't see anything else. Oh, you see something? as you can. That's what I always tell people is that the more game drives you can get, the better. Ah, look at the Bengal monitor lizard. Oh, he's right here. He's right here. That was a huge monitor lizard, like three feet long. He was just there basking in the sun. And that's what they're doing right now. You know, the sun's coming up right now, so all the reptiles are coming out. Got snakes, got lizards. Is there turtles here? Okay, now we are entering the woodland area. We just crossed the central in the grassland. Now we are entering the woodland. So maybe we can see the woodland. It's uh, barking deer and summer deer. And uh, maybe you can see the uh, wild elephant. And most probably tiger also. The best way to put it is that we left Africa, you know, the high elephant grass, and we entered South America or Amazon. That's sort of, I guess, the best way I can tell you what it feels like. Because you go through this grassland, super high bush. The only place I've ever seen that before was in Africa, in many different countries in Africa. And then when I entered here, it's like I'm in the jungle and it feels like a whole different world. Oh, look at the ant hill. This hills look like a mountain. Huge ant hill. Yeah. Yeah, termite, ant hill. Okay, this is one of the inside the river. This is called Diflu River. So you can see in this river a lot of turtle. Those are called Assam roof turtle. They are now just basking on the lock. You can see so many tiny, tiny turtle look like a samosa. Yeah, yeah, I mean, they're tiny, but they're there. They're all in this huge log. There's like one, two, I think 12 of them. Wow. The roof turtle 
All right, let's, let's get closer. As we continue to go through the forest, as you can see, the river is full of turtles. The Assamese roof turtle is one of like, I think over a hundred species in the area of turtles. And, um, oh my God, this is getting bumpy. It's getting really bumpy. You gotta really be careful. On the game drives, there's a few things you have to always be cautious about. You know, you can never get off a vehicle, never. That is like strictly prohibited. It's for your safety. And um, and then you can never feed the animals, never give them food because these are wild animals. They need to eat in the wild. If you feed them food, then they'll come up to other cars and ask for more food. So you don't want to give the an any animal food. Bring some water, bring a sweater in the morning for sure because it's cold. Right now it's heating up, I'm about to get off my sweater. But bring some water, bring some bars because you're out here for three hours. So if you get hungry, you really can't eat anything. So bring something with you. And, uh, and yeah, I mean, that's basically it. And then uh, you can do two safaris per day, always, two a day. In my case today, you can actually do three if you wanted to. You can do the elephant one in the morning, or after that, do a game drive safari on the, on the Jeep, and then do another safari like at 2, 3 p.m. for the nighttime, or like for the, you know, mid-afternoon. And that's how it works here, guys. You really should do two or more game drives. Why? Well, yesterday, we went on the first game drive, we saw a bunch of uh, rhino, elephant, we saw deer, but today it's been different. Today we haven't seen that many of those animals, but we've seen other animals, we've seen a lot of reptiles, especially because the sun's coming out, all the reptiles are coming out, so we saw a python, we saw monitors, two monitors, and we saw a bunch of turtles. We haven't seen almost any rhino, we saw one in the distance, but nothing up close, no elephants, and no buffalo, and obviously no tigers. If we saw a tiger, you would have seen it here. Yeah, I just love safaris, man, I love it. The only problem in India is that we don't have sundowners. Where's the alcohol? I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> oh, look at the black neck stork. That's very handsome bird. You can see that just black neck and the white wings and black, black things in the back. And the, you can see the nicely pink leg. It's huge dead body. It's very handsome bird. Look there. Do not forget sunscreen. It gets really, really hot out here. In India, the sun will boil you to death. For real, it gets so hot. Oh my god, I forgot sunscreen. I put a little bit on this morning, but that was before the elephant ride, so it's probably gone by now. Woo. The bumps don't stop. Look at the rhino in the water, he's just coming in the swim. I think Why? he's right there. Look at him. There we go. There we go. Oh, there we go. Oh, look, the rhino. It's so coming. beautiful. Cross the road now. Wow, we just got super up close to a rhino, the closest we've gotten in these two days. It was like 10 feet away from us. We were driving and out of nowhere, a rhino came out of the bush, stood still on the road, let us take photos, I filmed him, and then he just took off into the bush and disappeared forever. Amazing. Thank you. Our second game drive here in Kazaranga is over. We saw so many beautiful animals. We saw turtles, we saw pythons, monitors, got right up close to a rhino, saw some eagles, more birds, deer. I mean, just beautiful. If you guys are gonna come out here to Kazaranga, I'd highly recommend 36 to 72 hours. So you can go on two to six game drives. The more game drives, the better. It's always hit or miss. You might see some animals, you might not. You might go through stretches of two hours, you see stuff or you don't. So, I mean, that's sort of how it is. But now let's go have some lunch. I am starving. And here we are, we're gonna have a jungle tally. Hey, how you doing? Everything how good? You? Very good. Oh, okay, okay, we're gonna do this uh, too again. This is the, how do you welcome, welcome the people? Welcome. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you, thank you. So nice. So we're having lunch in their home. This is like the seating area, huh? Uh, this is the uh, seating area. Very nice. Honey. Hi, yes. You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. So how do you, how do you feel in this place? I feel great, this is, this is amazing. This is super welcoming. Hospitality in front of the jungle. In front of the jungle. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is gonna be awesome. Mm, it's amazing. Mm, it's a little bitter, mm, but I love it because I love ginger and I love lemon. Yeah, lemon. It's strong. It's strong one. Strong. This tie looks amazing. Yeah. It looks so good. This is wow, so lentil. colorful. Le dal, so dal. lentils. And the bamboo sweet and the peas mess. This is it, the jungle Assamese tali, 16 items. We have mostly veg, but we also have some fish and chicken. And the only way to do this experience is to stay at Wagras Resorts. They set it up for you. They're basically best friends with the owner, Nikun. Yeah. Nikun, give me five, Nikun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. We have two different rices right here. We have a curry leaf, fried curry leaf. So we have dal, 
We have potatoes, we have fish, we have chicken, we have more doll. We have, this is fish as well, right? Fish. fish. Bamboo shoot and fish mashed up. This is fern. Green vegetable, okay, and then which is this one? Pumpkin. 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 Steamed rice with milk, wow, I love the little fish the and the chicken. Fish. Steamed fish? Just gonna have some of this fish. Mmm, nice and crunchy. Mmm, that's what I love about small fish. You can eat, the, you can eat a whole. Head, tail, spine, mmm. Delicious. I love this one. Mm. This is a river fish from here? River fish. So good. So chewy and crunchy. And that's one of the biggest differences from this Thai, the Assamese Thali, and like Northern Thali, Southern Thali. This has fish. Most of them don't have fish. This has fish, and then it has rice 90% of the time because they produce rice here. So I'm gonna separate. So you separate some rice, right? You move something like this, and then you pour it on top. Mix it up, and then once you're done mixing, you grab with your hand, like that, right? You put it on these three fingers, never this one, these three fingers, and then you go in. Mmm, so good. Super light dough. Oh, wow. I haven't had this rice before here. It's phenomenal. Bamboo shoot fish. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Mm, it's like bamboo shoot that's salty. Salty bamboo shoot. Mmm, it's pretty delicious. Mmm. Has some herbs in here as well. I love how it's like, it's like very, like it's dense, but at the same time it like falls apart. It's like all like mashed, right? Mmm. Nice crunchy because you have a little bit of bones in there. Oh, really good. Grab it all. That big chunk. And straight in. Mmm. Small potatoes. Mmm. It's like sauteed potatoes with onions, but tiny potatoes. Tiny, yeah. Oh my god. You have to eat with your hands. It's a little disrespectful to eat with utensils. No, I'm joking. <laughs> but I'm doing it the, the real way, right? Green vegetable. Mmm. Mmm. Super green, a little potent. There's like a little spice, a little, little spice. Mmm. Nice. I love it, because it tastes almost like spinach. Mm. Doll and elephant apple. Yeah. So the same thing. Yeah. Break off a piece of this, right? Move it to the center. Then you go and you pour it on top. You mix it together. This white rice is, uh, it's very sticky. Almost feels like Japanese rice. You gotta always pick it up with these three fingers, right? Mmm. Elephant apple's different. Yeah, the taste. So different. That's so good. Put a little more here. Mix it in. Mix some of this. Red rice, mix it with the white rice. Together like that. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> amazing. I'm loving this, Tali. Cause I know how to do it, you know? I just go like that, like that. Uh, yeah, exactly. Grout. Mm. It's like a super soft fruit. But it's not a fruit, it's a vegetable. No, it's a vegetable, it's a... Um, it's almost like, yeah, it's almost like a long, like a potato. Somewhat, consistency of potato. The way it tastes, you know? Yeah. The texture and stuff. The power just went out, which is uh, unfortunate, but it's fine. We have some cameras here, so we put the flashlight on, and we'll just continue. So car is like rice mixed with a uh, with a veg, right? <coughs> Same thing, hands. Oh, mmm, car is spinach. Yeah, it's spinach. Say cream of spinach with rice. I'm gonna do this right here. I'm gonna mix it here. Mix the car this one, with this. At home, okay, perfect. Get a big piece like that. Mmm, this car is so delicious. Spinach for days here. And next we have this curry leaf. It's a, it's a fried curry leaf. Mmm. They should sell these, like, like as packets. Crunchy? Mmm. There we go. Yeah. Amazing. I'm really loving this meal. Everything has been so tasty and so fresh. Everything came from right out here. Next we have this chicken curry. Look at how good it looks. There's a potato here, chicken here, a bone as well. So what you do is you grab it, right? Like that. Looks so good. So, here yeah, we'll just lift it up. Mmm. Mmm. 
Oh man. Oh my god. So tender, so juicy. Man, this chicken is delicious. Mmm. The difference between organic and frozen. Wow, this is some amazing chicken. Drizzle that on top. Right there, super rich. Oh wow. Look at that. Nice, like brownish curry. Mm. Oh man. The curry's delicious and it has the juices of the chicken. Mmm. Mmm. Some of the best food I ever had. Ever. Mm hmm. Here we have fried green banana. Mmm. Oh wow. Very nice. It actually tastes like a, like a yuca. Mmm. Mmm. Fish tanga. Look at that. With a super green curry. That is the body of the fish. You gotta be really careful with the fish. The fish has so many bones. You literally have to just take it apart. And oh, there is one. The thing here is that in India, they've learned how to eat through bone. Like they eat bone and they put it to the side, or they just chew it. Mmm. Mm. Super soft fish. Mmm. Very nice, but I'm being very cautious here. There's too many spines. Yeah, yeah, there's too many. There's too many. Oh. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna keep this one to the side. <laughs> this is Hiram. So what's Hiram? Eggplant. That was delicious. Oh my god. <laughs> that was so good. That was an amazing eggplant. Eggplant mash. Wow. It's spicy though. Spicy eggplant. So this is rice with milk cream jaggedy and molasses and the way they do this rice and the reason why it looks like uh, you know this round long shape is because they put it into the bamboo and they put it into the fire then they open it up and it comes out like this just like this it's sweet right mm-hmm super sweet mmm oh wow mmm amazing put the cream all over it like that and soak it up in this milk Mmm, the rice is like super compressed. I'll finish this one. Wow, what an incredible day. We went on such an epic game drive, saw lots of reptiles, some rhino, some birds, boar, and then we came here to their house and they made me this delicious jungle tally. It was like 90% veg, we had some fish, we had some chicken, but my favorite thing was part of that rice, that rice at the end, that dessert, so delicious. And then also my favorite other thing was the eggplant mash because it was so spicy, it was creamy, it was so good. And guys, I hope you liked this video. Next time you think about coming to India, come to Northeast India, to Assam, come to Kazaranga National Park, stay at Wild Grass Resort, and from here you get to experience everything. Elephant Safari, Game Drive Safari, have a tie to the other place I went to, which is the Orchid Garden. And yeah, if you love this video, guys, give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and subscribe to my channel for more awesome travel content. I'll see you in the next travel adventure in Assam, India.